The show you're about to hear is real. The people's names have not been changed as they need no protection. This is Mahogany and Fur. show is unoriginal and Mahogany and Fur own your ass, dude. Don't stop that! Tweet to at Mahogany and Fur. Skype Mahogany and Fur. Or call the studio at 216-816-6594. I'm so glad that guy called in the show. What a dick he is. Like, And everybody got to hear that live. That's awesome. That just shows what kind of loser that guy is. Shit gets real in 5, 4, 3, 2. Hello, everybody. Mahogany Fur is back after an extended hiatus. I'm Carl, we got Mark in the studio, we got Tamika in the studio, everybody's here. Everybody is ready to disappoint you thoroughly. <laughs> I think I hear you, I don't hear Tamika. Hello. Oh, I hear that bitch right there. Do I hear my, Hi, ho. Dude, I'm really low. <laughs> I hear you, man. You turn me up, my, my monitor. Turn me up, 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 turn me up. That's, that's better. That's, that, that, everything's loud now. Yeah. That's good. That's good as words. All right. Hey. Okay. Anyways. Oh, I hear myself really nicely. I can't find a lighter for this cigarette, and that's okay. I'm sick as shit, everybody. You're sick? Yeah, I've got a little voice thing. (laughs) Oh, you found a lighter. Bye-bye. Hey, is that? What is in that cup right there? What drank is that? Uh, It's Evan Williams. Is it all, all of it? No, it's Coke. Can I have a sip of that? Sure. It's never be sober week in Carl's world. <laughs> Are you becoming a uh, working man's alcoholic? Like a, a working alcoholic? Oh, that's horrifyingly bad. Is wow. it too strong? It's like flat or something. It is flat, yeah. But it's better than straight whiskey. No, it isn't. Sure it is. Straight whiskey is just insanely good. You know what, man? I love whiskey, but I still can't do it straight. It ha- I, I need to like at least put like a lot of ice cubes in yeah, it. Yeah, but you do shots of like Jameson. Yeah, but that's like quick and over, you know? I hear ya. I always get... It's like uh, ripping off a band-aid. <laughs> uh, Let's get nuts! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I love Fuck George. It. Do it live! <laughs> I love George Costanza. Why are you giving me crickets? What the fuck is that about? Wow. I didn't make a joke. It wasn't a joke. I love George Costanza. <laughs> anyway. Are we doing this now? <laughs> okay, guys. Show? Hey. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's not even like we're not even drunk yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One of the lights just burned out immediately. Like, wow. Just on its yeah, whatever. Uh, yes. Mahogany and Fur is back after an extended hiatus. Uh, I already said that, but I've been at work, and Tamika's husband had an uh, anal probe, and Mark shaved his head, <laughs> and. Yep. Your husband had an anal probe. What do you mean? What, what is I talking is about? An anal probe. He had something shoved. Do you know up what the word probe means? Yeah. Do you know what? Yes, probe? but I'm saying, you know are you referring means? to his colonoscopy? Where they went in through his anus Which and they probed, they probed around it. <laughs> no. So he had an anal probe. Now, what exactly he, they probed his anal his anus for? That's that's you know semantics. <laughs> we don't need to know that. We don't care <laughs> about that. What we care about is that he All had an anal probe. All we know is that it happened. Now, I have explosive, explosive, explosive information that we're going to reveal later on the show. Probably around 9 o'clock, I would say I'll reveal it. Explosive diarrhea that you're going to do at 9 o'clock? It has something to do with the butt, though. What, what? In the butt. Mm. And you, that cricket is still going. Yeah, <laughs> like, do you like... I'm going to make that at, our background for first, the whole show. At first, I thought, like, I'm like, wait, is this July and, like, just the windows open? <laughs> Look, all right, so the show started at 8 o'clock. Now, from now on, the show is going to be at 8 o'clock, 8 to 10 or 11, how we're feeling, unfortunately. You're not going to have the full three-hour train wreck that you're used to. Now, I preferably would say we do 8 to 11 because that shows that we have the talent to go for that many hours hours but i also want to get drunk and after 11 i've only got like an hour or two to get drunk before i have to go to bed to go to work at my shitty job what the conundrum yeah it's a conundrum so we could technically do the show for three hours but i think tonight maybe we'll stick to a two-hour format tonight and then go maybe we'll try a three-hour format next week or something i don't know hit the let's get nuts sound effect what let's get nuts Let's get nuts. All right. So, 
We're back. We're eight o'clock. We're eight o'clockers now. How you guys doing? I feel like we gotta get back to that. Tamika, I wanna go to Tamika first. Uh-huh. Tamika, what have you been up to since you've been not been here and all the blues that's been going on? What have you been doing? Uh, just working. I I got another raise based on my review. I made more really, to you, really more quick. than you today, mm-hmm. that you probably have in a You got week. a raise? Congratulations. Thank but you. But good job. <laughs> really quick, every time I see Tamika, her hair is different. <laughs> every time. Can I, can, I, can I be frank here? She's a black girl. Go on. They love to do their hair differently. Oh, all the time. okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Is, uh, that's right, though. No, you're telling the truth. No, but I'm being right. right. But, I, but I like this. I like this haircut, though. Thank it you. It looks very nice. Thank I you. like the haircut as well, you sexy mama. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Thank hey. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. Uh, <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Yo. What? I think she just, never mind. <laughs> she had an <laughs> orgasm? Yes. All right. Uh, I think somebody from work is listening right now. So I had somebody from work. Hello, uh, Hello. guy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, you. Anyway, what else, Tamika? So you got a raise. What, why'd you get a raise? Was it just like that time? Was she you sucked him off. Did no. your review come up? <laughs> Yeah, my review came up. Good. How much was the raise? Uh, if I may pry. If oh, I may. 43 sure. cents. No. Hey, that's not 32 cents. Nothing to sneeze at, man. No. Actually, 13 cents. Actually, it was $5. So $5 Holy an shit. hour? No, not $5 an hour. Well, wait a minute. How Dude, the fuck? That's what, awesome. No, wait a minute. What's a $5 raise, though? She gets. What, do you, what yeah. Don't you understand? She gets another $5 on what she's already making from now on. Mm-hmm. Are you salary? No. No, she's hourly. So what is your hourly, hourly raise? So now my hourly raise. Well, you ain't gonna tell us like what you make. No, but like uh, what was no, the no, no, I, I what was, was the like raise to your hourly? Like what was the cents to your hourly? That five dollars. Five dollars. You made five dollars more an hour. Yes. From now on. Yes. From now on. That's a lot of money. That's what I said. Second. You said no. No, that's not what I said. I said correct, and Mark was explaining to you how much more I was getting. Two against one. I said you make $5. We'll see you in two weeks, listen, but only a week from now. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I said you now make $5 more an hour, and you said no. No, well, no I mean, that's yes. not what you said. Let's go to the tape. That's not what you said. <laughs> Let's go to the tape. If, if I may, what you said was, so you make $5 an hour. And you were like, right, you and said, said $5 said, no. an hour. No, I said $5 more an hour. You didn't say you more. I said, said more, hour. Baldy. You said <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, shorty. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny dick. What's up? <laughs> And fucking huge vagina. What's up? <laughs> Fuck around. I've been at work all day. God damn it. Busting oh. my ass for the man. Do you feel like you want to slap a woman around? Busting I do. I do. Man. I went to like the bar by myself last <laughs> night. And I was vicious. like doing some shots and eating a burger. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill a bitch. You know? <laughs> is that what you said to yourself? I did. I said that. And then I was the, bar, the waitress was like, can I get you anything else? And I was like, yeah, hatch it so I can cut your face off. So this job's, <laughs> job's getting to you already, huh? <laughs> I'm shaking already. I haven't had alcohol today. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love how alcohol. Carl's turned into a full-fledged alcoholic in like right. two weeks. The pressure's getting to him. Oh, yeah. Dude, you were drunk. <laughs> I was drunk. On Monday. Yeah. Oh, my God. Was that Monday? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> we left Mark was like, oh, I love you. I was, I was blowsy <laughs> drunk, dude. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were blowsy <laughs> drunk. Oh, don't say your last name on the air. I didn't say your first name. There's a lot of blowsies in America. Blowsies, nuts. <laughs> Biatch. <laughs> wow. Dude, it's hot in the studio. It is hot as it balls is. in here. Do you have enough arm strength to open that window even more? No, yes. she got probed over the weekend. <laughs> Shut up. Look, look, she can't look, do it. She can't do she it. Can't do it. it. I, I really can. Normally, I can. Oh. 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 <laughs> I want to get a sound, a sound effect that's like, <laughs> like a guy taking a shit, but it's whenever <laughs> Tamika tries to do something. Shut up. With her weak ass arms. There you go. There you go. Out, so I definitely shouldn't have no weak ass arms. Today I'm glad that we don't have the cameras in here because it's so messy in the studio and my entire house because I'm not home anymore. I'm literally not home. Last night there was a problem with my neighbor. Uh oh. My neighbor's uh, ex significant other came over at like midnight and was banging on my door. Your neighbor is freaking out. You need to get in here ASAP. Wait. Do I know these people? Yeah. Oh. Say that one more time. I got, uh, I, I was in bed. I was late in bed. It was like midnight. Okay. And there was a knock at my door. I went to the door and it was my neighbor's, well, the, the person that lives with my neighbor. Um, I'm 
Normally, I'm all about throwing names out there, but not when they're close friends of mine. I'll throw anybody under the bus, but not close friends of mine. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? So uh, I get this the knock on the door, and I go to the door. I'm like in like I'm naked. Like I had a T-shirt on. I had it pulled down over my dick. <laughs> like I was like, "What? Wait, you don't sleep with underwear on?" <laughs> no, man. That's fucking gross, dude. Why? Why is that gross? Fecal matter. Your sheets are covered with fecal dude, matter. Dude, I take right a now. shower before I go to bed. Doesn't matter. You're still rolling around. Uh, I clean my beat hole, my booty hole. Fecal matter, bro. There's Black no light. fecal matter on my beat be- hole when Black I go to light. bed. Oh. <laughs> Black light won't show up. Fecal matter. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll it will. show up. Semen. <laughs> semen. Animal semen. All right. Um, anyway, so I go to the door. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I was like, what can I do for you? And she was like in panic mode. Mm. Your neighbor is freaking out. You need to get over here and calm her down. So I go over there. My neighbor's in her bed, and I say, you need to calm down. What's going on? Like She was like, I'm asleep. And I'm like, bull crap, you're not asleep. You just did something crazy, and now what have you? I like the way you explained this. Right. Bull crap. You did something crazy. <laughs> You're trying to say you didn't do something yeah, crazy. Yes. That's what happened. So okay. I'm like, she's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So I'm like, okay, I'm going back home. My, I'm going back home. My phone <laughs> ra- my phone goes off. Bleep, 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 bleep. And I'm like, okay, I just ignored it. I didn't even go look at the text. Goes off again. Goes off again. Carl, get back over here. She's doing it again. She needs to go to a hospital or something. And I was like, oh, my God. So I go outside of my door, go into my neighbor's door. Again, she's in bed, acting like nothing just happened. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you're a liar because there's no way I, that I would get these texts. Were, I've you, ne- were you hearing anything? No. No, because, I mean, I think it's like cement walls between us. So it's okay, not that well, easy to hear. That's awesome, actually. It's not easy, that easy to hear neighbors next door, but it's easy to hear people underneath and above you. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Um, so I go over there, I guess. So... You know, pretending like nothing happened. And then, so I go talk to the person that was telling me that there was this stuff. Commotion. Like, commotion. Mm. Uh, she's like, could you stay here for a while and make sure there's no more commotion? I have to work early in the morning. I need this to stop immediately. So I'm like, whatever. I'm going to go home. I'll get my iPad. I'll go over there and I'll, like, BS on my iPad. Like, listen to the music or something and, like, smoke cigarettes and play pool on my iPad. So I, I go... Like, what? What? <laughs> There's a pool table over no, there? No, 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 no. <laughs> I wish. It'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? Uh, so I go back over there, and I sit there for a long time. And uh, the culmination of this story is that nothing happened after that. Okay. So now my concern is that either I was, for some reason, why, I mean, I don't think that this is the, the case, but why would she tell me to come over there if nothing was happening? But then again, every time I went over there, nothing was happening. So it was like, but I will say that something happened the previous night. Okay. Maybe I don't want to share that on the air. I think you're already oversharing right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I haven't said who they are. I mean, I love both of them. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to throw either one of them under the bus. It's a hard situ- situation that they're both in. Okay. So it's not like I'm like, oh, you stupid asshole, you did this, blah, 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 blah. It's just a hard situation they were both in. Right? So I don't think that I'm really overstepping any boundaries because I don't – I'm not, like, judging either of them for right. the situation. Now I'm telling one of them to calm down in this situation and the other one t- to leave is basically my advice. You leave, you calm down. That's the only way you can solve this entire thing. Or you can just knock one out. <laughs> or I can rub one out. No, that still wouldn't solve the problem. That might. It might make you feel better. Uh, it'll make me feel fine and then I won't have to deal with it yep. anymore. <laughs> the night before there was a big blow up. I wasn't here. Oh. And then I heard about it later that night. I was drunk uh, with some people from work, which was an eye-opening night for me as well. Uh, I think that we, as human beings, as adults, things are more eye-opening when you're <laughs> when you're drunk off your ass. Like, and, and I remember a lot of the things. I mean, I don't have like times where I like totally black out and forget what happened and the night that's never happened to me maybe one time in my entire life so I remember all the shit that goes on I'm just like (laughs) when I'm remembering it like Tuesday morning I was oh no wait a minute we went out on Tuesday we went out on Monday the people from work went out on Tuesday and I was still drunk at 7 30 in the morning (laughs) like from that night and I was like I woke up at like 7 7 30 and I was like 
I got out of bed and I fell. <laughs> I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. And I was like, I hope I get sober before 10. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but that was a fun night. I mean, the people from work are really cool. Met some people that work at the casino that night. So is everything over there cool? No. Okay. Absolutely uh. not cool. And, uh, yeah. Last weekend I went to Pittsburgh. That was really fun uh, with er- with Erica, my buddy. Okay. And um, What was in Pittsburgh? She had something to do for work. and Oh, you tell me this. Yeah, and I went with her, and it was really – I had a great time. It was really fun. We went out to a couple bars, hung out, got drunk. So basically since Friday night – Friday night I went out. Saturday night I went out. Sunday night I went out. Monday night I went out. <laughs> Tuesday night I <laughs> went out. When do you go to your parents? Because I know you go to your parents to so you hang out with Carly and all that. Yeah, that happens on the weekend, but last weekend was not my weekend with her. That's what I'm asking. So when I is, went when ham. When is your weekend? So this weekend will coming up will be your weekend. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go. I went ham last weekend. <laughs> H-A-M. Hard as a mother bleeper. What does that mean? Bleeper. <laughs> what, ham? Yeah, what is that? Is that an acronym? Yeah, for hard as a mother bleeper. I'm not cursing on the show anymore. Bullshit, asshole. Fuck this. Ha. So what's going on with you, Baldy? Uh, Do you hate that now? Do anybody no, ever call you Baldy? Okay. No, no, you're the first one. Nice. Thanks. Do you like it? <laughs> do do I like nice. being called Baldy? That's your new nickname. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shorty. All your right. new nickname, Shorty. I don't, I don't give a crap. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't give a crap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to give a crap? I'm not going to, all right? You sound like John C. Riley when you say that. I don't give a crap. <laughs> I don't give a crap, all right? Uh, Sweet berry wine. Yeah, shaved my head. Uh, got enrolled at the YMCA. Been working out. So, like, so you're pre- becoming a bro. Yeah, d- pretty much. Bro. <laughs> pretty much I'm going through, like, uh, like, like the same kind of situation that, like, a uh, middle-aged divorce guy be going through. <laughs> Shave my head. Work hit the out. gym. <laughs> Only thing that's missing is, like, I'm, I don't, I'm not lowering up. I didn't lawyer up yet. Oh, yeah, you got to lawyer up. I'm going to lawyer up. For no up. reason. For no <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just, yeah, for nothing. Up. For no reason. You right. got to. I got to get a lawyer on deck. But, yeah. Um, so that's about it with me. I think I have a fever. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, you should lawyer up. Uh, I'm going to grow a beard out. I actually am lawyer. You should grow your beard out. Well, you can't, get a ba- you can't have a bald head without a beard. No, exactly. and you can't have a goatee with bald head. Lest you look like a Harley rider. No, you can have a – I don't think I'm the guy. At least give me like 10 years, then maybe I can have a goatee and a be- bald head. But right now I need a full beard. A beard, yeah. yeah. I agree with you. you. Lest you look like a Harley rider. Yeah. No, I have a Harley. And it's like either – either. so here's my options to make it. Tell me what you think. Okay. Full beard because I need a woman's opinion. Full beard, goatee. So why are you asking? Or no. com- completely <laughs> shaven. Shut up. Or completely shaven. I think completely shaven and look like a weird alien or a pedophile. I think full beard. <laughs> full beard. Okay, I'm, I'm going full beard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, you see I, how it's coming in right now, though, right? Yeah. What do you think? It's coming in good. Sweet bear one. Hey, guess what? It's only, been a, it's only been a week. <laughs> All right, hold, hold, hold for me. Sweet and now the only married news team in the Tri-County area, Jan and Wayne Schuyler, with special news correspondent Dr. Steve Rule. I love all kinds of drinks, and especially wine. Well, that makes one of us because I can't even get near the stuff because of my interior rash. And red wine is the worst for my sores. I didn't know that, Jan. Well, why didn't you say something when I poured you a glass last night? Because I sit with it. Oh, what a treat. We've got a very special guest. Dr. Steve Rule is up in wine country. He's going to show us a thing or two about the differences between different kinds of wine. Steve? (laughs) (laughs) Jenny Wayne. I don't even like wine, but guess what? You're going to like it. I need some cheese. Steve, what kind of wine is that you're drinking? I can't see, hon. Sweet berry wine. (laughs) (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Supposed to spit it out. But no way, Jose, am I spitting this stuff out? It tastes like fruit. (laughs) It tastes like fruit. (laughs) Wine was invented by the Romans. For orgies. And orgies are not too much fun if no one wants to do with you. Mike, you want to check on Steve real quick? Tell him how it tastes, Steve. All right, let's do it. Steve? Steve, are you okay over there? There's all kinds of other wines. Peanut Noir. They got all different kinds. And that's how she (laughs) wrote. I'm Dr. Steve Rule for your wine. 
Come here, Janny. Janny. <laughs> All right, sweet berry wine. That's that's for anybody. Dude, hey, what the fuck? You texted me sweet berry wine at like nine in the morning. Uh, what, what day was that? Like Wednesday. And I was like, I was like, haha, what does that even mean? And then no reply back. I know. So I was just like, you oh. were supposed to look it up. Be like, why is he saying sweet berry no, wine? I'm not gonna look it up. Well, now you know what sweet berry wine means. Say random shit all the time. I'm not gonna look up everything you say. <laughs> sweet berry wine. Well, sweet berry wine. Wine was invented sweet by the Romans. Wine. I'm not gonna for spit orgies. This out. Tastes like fruit. <laughs> wine was invented by the Romans for orgies. Orgies aren't very fun if no one wants to do it with you. <laughs> 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 anyway, sweet berry wine. What else? What else? Uh, are we done here? I think we're done with this this little uh, yeah. segment. Our little, our little catch up. Uh, so yeah, so I oh I've been working. I work at a, a place now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Carl's employed now. Other than this, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm employed and I hate it. And it's funny because I messaged my buddy. I sent an email to my buddy Peter like my second name. I was like, I hate it so much, and he goes, I love your hatred of your work emails. It's so funny. <laughs> like, what is it, what does that mean? Because I emailed him like, hate this job, and he wrote back. He's like, I was walking down the street reading this, and I was laughing my ass off, like cackling down the street. But I don't understand. What are your work emails? No, I emailed him and I was like, I hate this job. So he's like, I love. Oh, your so you just literally you email him while you're working. No, like, not while I'm at work. Oh. I just emailed him on the train on the way to work. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I hate mm -hmm. it. Well, dude, like I love how like you, Carl, to make it. Carl was trying so hard to get me to come apply at this place. He's like, I see. I'm like, well, Carl, don't you hate? It? He's like, yeah, but you should come apply. But you make money. Like I made like I made like uh, I made. $32 an hour I today. I feel like you're going through the AT&T route all over Is again. it commission? Well, not all of it. Okay. There's some commission, but I made $32 an hour today, so, I mean, I like that. Did you hear what I said? AT&T route? I feel I like mean, you're doing it all over again. It might be. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, do you know the AT&T story? Uh-uh. The, never the, heard the it. short and gist of it is Carl's making, like, fucking ridiculous money, but uh, he got anxiety so bad that it starts to like really affect his life and he had to quit. Oh. I mean, I got like uh like stomach problems and like I still have them and I never had them before that. Like oh, I just immediately no. got stomach problems yeah. and they have not totally gone away. Stress, man. I've had anxiety ever since. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the place ruined me and Damn people still work there. And like I went into a a, a, a psychiatrist the which one is the one that can prescribe medication? Psychiatrist. Okay, psychiatrist. I went into a psychiatrist, and I was like, oh, I work at at and He's like, here, let me give you some Ativan. <laughs> like, that was the immediate <laughs> yeah. first thing he did. Oh, wow. Uh, guess what? I got, uh, guess what, guys? No, I got, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't fucking know. I don't know either, man. <laughs> I got, so I, I, it was on someone at work's suggestion to go to that doctor, because everybody from at and gets drugs from that doctor. <laughs> That's crazy, wow. dude. That's crazy. Yeah, so don't work at AT and T in Brexville. He's the AT and T doctor. You know, actually, a friend of mine. And uh, we just set up, she used to work up for there. a lawsuit right there. Who? <laughs> um, Thank God, no one listens. Her to name this. is Crystal, but she actually, what happened was she was. What had happened was. What had happened was. Happened she was, was going to work one day in the snow, and her car, you know, the ice, and she was in the. Her car, car, you know, the ice. Yeah, and then she was like, that, that was a really messed up story. I, I her was car, just saying, you know, the ice. It was no, some black ice. The, the way you tell stories is funny. The car, you know, <laughs> wait, the black, ice. Wait, black guys? I black guys? Black ice. Black yeah, guys. Yeah, black guys. Black guys. That's racist. You're a racist. I, you know, up. speaking of racist, I want to talk car. to you guys about something that happened at work. No, anyway. what happened no, was she got in a car accident and she ended up being in a coma. But you didn't tell us the part about the car accident. You said there was black ice. Black and ice. Then, I like, was trying to say that she had some black ice. You start, <laughs> again, the racism. Stop it. Shut black up. guys. <laughs> Black guys everywhere. She hit some black guys and <laughs> they beat her up and she went I in a coma. Ice, there's black ice. guys everywhere. You yeah, know, guys. Vanilla ice, black. <laughs> make me sick. No, you know what? You make me sick. Was that but the end of the story? You make me sicker. That, so, anyways, yeah, what happened? She, she, uh, she got so an accident. She's in a coma. So oh, she's in a coma? How long? She's been in a coma like 16 years. Is know. she currently in a coma still? Yes. What the fuck? Yes. Let's go visit her. Like almost. When did this happen? Eight years now. Tamika, no. I swear to you. She's she's been on life support for eight years. Yes, because her family has been fighting. Her family to needs to day. just let her go, That's man. That's awful, dude. Let so, her go. You know, Wait, she how? Had a little son. Do you know how he's... bad? Oh. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Up. I mean, that's why I was trying to say that Brexville was bad. 
You know how bad of a car crash you have to be in to yeah. get in a coma that bad? Well, you know how, like, almost that bad it has to be to get in the coma? Because if it was worse, you'd be dead. <laughs> like, Well, yeah. Like, yeah she like, was hanging on by a thread. Yeah, she was, Jesus. yeah. And, I mean, her family to this Fuck day a coma. I don't want fighting. coma. <laughs> Here's a conversation that we should have on another date. Euthanasia. What do you guys think about it? I anyway. don't really like the euthanasia. Why? <laughs> because they all have that weird haircut and they, like, walk around with tight pants. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was so Can cheesy that and good. Yeah. That was so awfully dude, good. Dude, I see a lot of those 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 Asian guys at the, at the train station. <laughs> when he said it, I was like, they're all punks. Now the older Asians, they're okay. Yeah. But the euthanasia is a problem. They're just yeah. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, that was good, man. Thanks, you're you're man. a funny was. fuck. I'm a funny guy. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened there. Um, so yeah, I was at work. I'm gonna. Um, I'm oh gonna, God! I'm gonna this, say a word. It comes about him again. I'm gonna say a word. <laughs> you guys don't be offended at my use of the word nigger. I didn't say that. <laughs> How did I know? That's what he was gonna say. Whenever a white guy goes. Don't be offended. offended. Well, right. no, I'm telling everybody. I'm talking into the mic. I'm not like, hold on, guys. I've never heard a white guy go, don't be offended, gooks. You know <laughs> why? Because they're full of shit. That's why. Because That's there's why. no gooks in because front of them. if I'm not a gook, they, they have gooks. Gookity gook gook. Gookity goo. Go ahead. All right, so there's this go guy. Go ahead, my, mel- my melanin challenge brother. There's this guy at work, and he is like Middle Eastern, I would say. Mm-hmm. My my does he say my friend? My no, friend? but I mean, he, no, he, you know, he makes hummus a lot and stuff. Does he? Does he, he doesn't say my friend or my buddy. No, 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 no. Wow. Okay. No, he it doesn't have an accent or anything either. So what? it's like my friend. He's from here. So I work with. Wow. He's from here, but his family, like that's you know where they're from. So and he's first generation. Maybe second. Okay. Well, first generation is you're born here. Yeah. Right. So he's first generation. Or second would be you. Your your parents were born here. No. Yeah. What? what? Yes. No. Second no. generation would mean your parents are born here. First well, generation yeah, yeah, means yeah, yeah, you're, you're born right, here. You're yeah. right. So anyways, he'll, he'll come outside. And I'm standing around outside, and he'll go, what up, my niggas? And I'm like, what? does he sit in front of black people? That's all that I work with, basically. There's, there's a few white guys, but I, I work with a majority of black people. No one ever calls him out? Well, I was at the bar the other Wait, night. Wait, what does he look like? He's just like a white this, guy. This is with, actually important. With dark hair. Um. What? Yeah. No, that, that shit would not fly with Now, me. here's no. the thing. But it's not like, okay, here's the thing about it. I was talking about it at the bar What's with. What's up, my sand niggas? <laughs> See how he responds to yeah. that. Well, I was talking about it with, <laughs> with some people from work at the bar the other night. Uh-huh. And the, I said, you know, I said the same thing. I'm like, please don't think I'm using this word like I would use it all the time. But I want to see your guys' take on this because it was really interesting to me, the whole situation. And I told him, I said, what do you think about him saying that when, when he comes outside and he sees us or something like that. And the girl that I was sitting standing outside with smoking was like, I pulled him aside the one day and I said, if I ever hear him say it again, I'm going to punch him in his motherfucking face. <laughs> and I was like, good. Nice. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. She was like, yeah, I just can't stand people like that that think they can like fucking use it and shit like that. She's like, you could use it before he could. <laughs> and I was like, well, thanks. Right. I, don't, I don't. No, see, to. that's the, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the conundrum. Yeah. The people that you would be cool with them using it, they never use it naturally. Right. Like my best friend, uh, John Benz, and you, like me and John, when we get drunk, we're like, nigga this, nigga that. Mm-hmm. Right. I love calling white guys niggas. Yeah. I love it. I love Dude, it. I get called it every day. It's <laughs> awesome. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Like, but, <laughs> but. John is not the kind of guy who who goes around saying "What's up, my niggas?" to like sound cool. Yeah, yeah. The guy who does do that, I would never like say that because yep. he, he's a fucking poser. No, I like that kid too. So don't get me. I'm not like, gonna knock him. I like him. He's a nice guy. He's so really he says good at, it every single time y'all are. Not every time. It stopped. Oh, okay. It stopped. I no, think I after like she it. said it. You know it. why I don't like it, man? Because he gets to ch- he he gets to not be black. You know what I'm saying? Right, I can say it. Mm-hmm. Right, Mika can say it. That's what right. I thought. That's why I was like. But the reason why I can say it is because I can't not be black. Well, I'm, I'm biracial, but I cannot right. be black. You know what I mean? You're bisexual. Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wanted to clarify that. Breaking okay. news. Breaking news. <laughs> I don't have that soundtrack anymore. <laughs> <Or> sound. <laughs> Mark announces on Mahogany and Fur that he's bisexual. <laughs> the screamer, Mark is not bisexual in these scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Asterisk. <Yeah. laughs> Mike is not bisexual. Please, uh, <laughs> Please ignore anything. We'll sit <laughs> Please do not call him after the show. <laughs> and, and but yeah, go ahead. Your What's your story? I, I like him. Okay, I like the kid. But I mean, my story was that. I mean, the whole thing. I just said it. But like, I like the kid. Right? He's a good dude. There, I work with like a lot of younger people. He's a good dude. But like, I was like, dude, that's not cool, man. Right. Like, I'm like, I'm like, now if you know these guys and they're cool, then and I don't know that, then whatever. But like, I felt like a lot of them weren't cool with it. Like just the way they like react. Well, you to you it. can totally get the vibe. Yeah, you can I, totally get the vibe. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like whistling, turning my head away. And um, this is actually a great segue if we want to go into the news because okay. I have a story that the NFL is banning the the N word. Really? Yeah. If, oh, if, do you guys I hate have when it? anchors say the N word. They put the word in my it? head. You're making me say it now. Oh. Louis C.K. Yeah. Um, Tamika, do you have it? Yes, I do. Oh, Carl, well, you want to go into the news real quick? Yeah, I don't even have her news sound effect anymore. So Why not? wait, hold on. Michelle Tweak and Tanya want to ride this train. What Check ha- it out now. What happened to the sound effect? I don't know. It's not on here. <gasps> and you know I love that song. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just load it up next time. Okay. It's not loaded for some reason. I don't gotcha. know why. <sighs> hey, real quick, before she reads the, reads the story, the font that she chose to print this out in is like Comic Sans. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> like, what? I looked at it twice. The, the font? What the fuck is sense? this? I don't what it was. I was trying to hurry up and. <laughs> it is Comic Sans. That is Comic Sans. No, the, comic the font sand is different than this. It's like, dude, look at this. Carl, look at this. It's like a metal poster. <laughs> <laughs> For like a metal concert. No, I forgot what it was. I'll tell you, Defont is my favorite song by Daft Punk. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Defunk. Sorry. Yeah, I'm like, what? It was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> All right, read the news. Okay. So, the head of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, which monitors diversity in the NFL, expects the league to institute a rule where players will be penalized 15 yards for using the N-word on the field. John Wooten, the head of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, anticipates that the NFL's competition – committee will enact the rule at the owners meeting next month we did talk about it and i'm sure that you saw near the end of the year that the fritz pollard came out very strong with the message that the league needs to do something about the language on the field ravens general manager ozzy newsom who is the league's competition on the league's competition committee said he also said so we did discuss this over the last three days Newsom also said the committee talked about other slurs coming under any possibility, uh, (coughs) excuse me, any possibility under the new rule, which includes the homophobic slurs, which have recently been going around. So Wooten, who previously had urged all players to stop using the N-word, thinks the NFL will rule an automatic 15-yard penalty for first-time offenders and an ejection for second infractions. I would be totally shocked if the competition committee does not uphold on what we're trying to do, Wooten said. We want this word to be away from everyone, secretaries, PR people, whoever. We want it eliminated completely and want it policed everywhere. So the competition committee meets for several days in Naples, Florida next week, where they will decide what they will do in March for the owners' meeting. Tamika, what do you think? I, you know what? I'm actually glad that they're finally starting to do something, not just with that word, but just homophobic slurs. Right. Because it's just really getting out but of hand. You know what? I feel like the N-word, though, the reason why, at first I was like, well, why are they just like targeting that? Why, why don't they just say like that everything gets right. banned? And I, I think I understand why. Because... Black people get a free pass on using yeah, the N-word. I was going to say that. Yeah. And it's a huge difference when you hear, like, a group of young black men say, nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga this, mm-hmm. or faggot this, faggot that. I think it's overused. All those words are overused. Like, Well, but But you do me. see it a you lot know, on the field. A lot like, of the black um, players, they you can see them, like, wording. There's, right. there, there's a there's a spe- there's a, a exception to the rule when mm-hmm. you hear young black men call each other niggas. Now, 
they they declutter their niggas in a different way than they would say the word faggot. The word faggot is usually used with like some kind of hate. And I'm actually I say that word myself sometimes, but I never say it with hate. I just say it like as in like a a Louis C.K. People from Phoenix are Phoenicians. Right. Shut up, faggot. You know, right. something like that. You right. Know? Yeah. And, no, and that, like even that's wrong. And I know that's is, wrong. Yeah. And I'm trying to get away from that. So I'm really trying to stop using the word. But uh, I agree with you, Tamika. I I think it's a good idea, Carl. It is. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. I mean, just to get away from the use of those words, and maybe that will. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to affect like the world around us. I think people are still going to use words that they necessarily. Uh, shouldn't use in a derogatory manner, or 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 as in a uh, as in a sense of like nigga, it's like it's not derogatory to each other. No, it's not. It's context. Yeah, I mean, but I think I think if we try and get away from using those words, eventually they'll not disappear completely. But I think that we won't have to use them. I think like, I think people will stop using them if they stop being popular. Exactly. Like faggot or or, 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 or or like chink and things like that. I think that I think I mean I don't care. People can say whatever they want. I'm all for, you know, say whatever the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. But like think about how you're gonna make other people feel with how you say it first. Like I mean if you don't want to make someone feel like the way or if you have like general human decency towards people no matter what race, you know, sexuality, blah, blah, blah. I don't think you should be using those words. I mean, it's just, just me. I right. think I think it all comes down to this. In the NFL, you're a professional athlete. Keyword professional. You're a professional. You can't, professional. I can't use that term at work. Like, no, I can't if, if, you can't, if you can't use a word in an office setting, then there's no reason that the NFL players could use like that right. word. I'm sorry. I can't walk around work going like, what's up, faggot? Like, yeah, yeah. I'd no, be fired. Cool. It's cool. We exactly. we know each other. It's cool. Right. And right. Like, no, I'm like, there's a lot of gay guys at work that I know. And I'm like, if I walked over, like, what's up, my faggot? Like, you, you can't <laughs> do that. Um, they'd be like, no. fuck. Well, dude. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Um, and and the thing is, like, here here's the thing, man. There's there's twofold for me because I have a lot of white friends and I have a lot of black friends. Right. White people, uh, I wouldn't say all white people, but there's a you would be surprised how many white people don't understand the difference between E R and A. Yeah. It's crazy to me. What's then? up, my nigger? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it, just, it just makes my skin crawl. It, it makes my skin crawl. It's stupid, yeah. Um, so, like, for instance, uh, I work with a girl, and she's a sweetheart. She's she's 20 years old, and sh- lately she's been getting into hip-hop. Okay. Oh, God. Black and, music? Yeah, black music. <laughs> and she's like, it, we were just talking one day, and she's like, yeah, my nigger. I was like, I was like, don't. Say Don't that. say oh. that. God, it just I sounds had, like blue. Dude, I had to it spend do. 20 minutes like oh, telling wow. her the difference between nigga and nigger. And and, and and after, on top of all that, it still went over her head. She oh, didn't understand wow. any of it. So this is why... Don't use that word in, in any professional setting in any manner. Never. Right. And the thing is, these motherfuckers, these young black guys, they use the word so much that it's becoming it's part, part of, of culture. It's, no, it's it become, already is part become, of culture. No, it's becoming, it's becoming part of mainstream America. That's it the problem. Is, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right, Mark. Yeah. It's becoming part of mainstream America. Because when you heard it in the early 90s, 80s, you know, on rap songs, mm-hmm. it was... It, 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 it was used like it was edgy. It was edgy, and also it wasn't used every other damn word either. Right. Like it was just like they'll say something and they'll be like, "My nigga, Easy E did," but not. I you mean, are Easy E. Seriously, so. not that much though. It wasn't. Right, it wasn't. Even Easy E didn't use it as much as it's used now. You listen to a song now, it's like it's you'd have to. I mean, you listen to a song bad. on the radio, you have to edit every word out. Yeah, they're called niggas with attitudes. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean. <laughs> That that was making a statement though, you know what I mean? Like that was making more of a statement than the than the, the song that's on ninety six five. I heard you. Say you know that. what I'm saying? Like they yeah. were more political. I mean, they were still you know, they weren't yeah. political, but they were they weren't like they weren't like uh, love Sosa, robberies and rovers. And like the thing is, like I think it's all about like the words you so. Here's the thing: it's, it's only natural. Rap has become pop music in America. It is, yeah, and. That part of rap culture, most black people over the age of like I would say thirty five hardly ever use that word. Right, right. No. How, so it's a young black male thing. Now I will I will discredit that a little bit because that word's thrown an awful lot around outside of work with people that are well over thirty five. So I mean, it's like, well, consider your consider where you're at downtown, transient. Yeah. Uh, I'm people, talking the people that I work with. Oh well, that's they should be ashamed of themselves. Well, I mean, yeah, I think so too. But I mean, I'm not gonna go. 
Don't use that word. Because <laughs> like here's here's a, here's the thing. Like I feel like that, that's face. a I feel like it's a it's a it's a term of like camaraderie. Like if it, it you know like the reason why like without getting into a whole black history thing here in America. Well, the it is February. The re- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this, is our, this is our segment. <laughs> the reason why it's a term of camaraderie is because like you know it means you're my brother. Like we're one of the same. Like you know, fuck what everybody else says. We're we're sol- we're solidified. Right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. And it goes from there. But I, I'll be in situations where like I'm in mixed company. I'm with blacks and whites, and like uh. my boys who are both black, they'll be like, "Nigga this, nigga that," but they're speaking loudly in front of like, and white people can hear it. What do those white people take home? Well, they call each other niggers all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. And I hear that so fucking much. I, do I hear it on Rover. Yeah, I hear it on Rover's. Morning glory all the time, which is why I can't stand when Robert does this fucking racial shit. Because you know what? They're they're a room full of white people. You know what I mean? They like, are. Yeah. That's like me giving. That's like a like that's like a room full of straight people giving their opinions about gay people. Who the fuck are you? We've dude? done that. <laughs> no, but no. It, we, yeah. We've done it with like discretion. Like yeah. Take yeah. what we say for like a grain of salt. Right. Right. Okay. Now the moment where like Robert actually has like a fucking intelligent black person, you know, in, in the studio with him to give their perspective. Shut the fuck up. No one gives a shit about what a five white people have to say about niggers this and niggers that. Right. I don't give a shit. If you, if I want to hear the white people's perspective about it, that's great. That's what we get <laughs> right. every time. Only thing is, Robert, every other day, oh, this racist article. He, dude, he does that shit to seem edgy. That's what right. yeah. I don't fucking like about Rover. Yeah. Anyway, no, I agree with you. It's, I, it, I, it's kind of hacky. It is. Because what he does is he'll bring up these articles, mm-hmm. and, like, he won't really have an opinion either way. He won't have too strong of an opinion either way. But he'll bring it up and let the callers call in. He'll have yeah. the racist callers well, call in. I want you to call now and tell me what exactly. you think about this, this situation. Hacky, this, shit's, this shit's hacky. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? So, anyway. So, fuck I, that. I, I honestly think Rover's a hack anyways. I do, too. I but agree. I like his show sometimes. I like the other. I like the personal stuff that happens on a show. You know, you know what's funny though, man? I was thinking about the other day uh, because there's like, there's stints where like, you know, you won't hear anything from like Jeffrey or Dumb or Charlie's like personal life. And the show gets boring. It's boring as shit. Yeah. If, if you didn't have Jeffrey, Dumb, or Charlie talking about their personal lives, it would be, or Rob, Rob. I Rob. hate Rob, but I, I still Rob, love to hear about his personal but life. Dieter? Dieter doesn't say a damn word. No, Dieter's the time. useless. You- Doozy's useless. Rover's useless. But, yeah. I mean, I think that Jeffrey, I mean, if Jeffrey had his own show, it'd be the one. <laughs> it'd be ridiculous. Here's what you need. You, like. need a, you need someone who's like, they have all their whereabouts. Yeah. To only talk to Jeffrey 24-7. Yeah. That's all That's you need. That's why he's on the show. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's a train wreck. That's why he's on yeah. the show. Dumb and is a Rover train wreck. knew the radio goal that he had when Jeffrey walked in. Exactly. Which mm. is why you still need to contact Ohio Center for Broadcasting, Tamika, <laughs> and get us an intern. I would like to interview I have interns. I there. They haven't called me one. back. Well, call them again. Okay. We need to interview interns and find a good one. Preferably well, an autistic Well, from there, from intern. what I hear. Is, uh, I know. That's why I'm so excited. <laughs> we, I mean, I want to have them do the show from the fire escape. <laughs> like, it's cold out here, guys. <laughs> like, Dude, yeah, but I, I don't want to talk about Rover because I'm trying to make a point. But I only watch to hear Jeffrey yeah. or Dumb. It yeah. goes in this order. Jeffrey... Dumb, Rob, Charlie. Because Charlie's funny. He's, his life is boring, but he has very funny things to say. Yeah. I know you hate Charlie, but it is what it is. I, anyway. mean, I, don't, I don't hate the guy. I just hate what he says. Like, <laughs> I, I love what he says. I, I just, love it. I love it. <laughs> plus, I see him everywhere I go. I never see that kid. Where I do you go? I go all over the place. I saw him at uh, Ingenuity so Fest. you hate him because you, you see him? <laughs> yeah, just look at his face. <laughs> I see you. His <laughs> face is disgusting. It just makes me like want to punch him in his fucking crooked face. Jesus, all right. I, I mean, no, he's an all right guy. I see him at Melt in Lakewood all the time. I see him at Ingenuity Fest. Uh, uh, I've seen him at, like, stores. How would you feel someone felt that way about you? I, I, I would care. I'm, I just, I'm like, sure they do. Them. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I don't care. Fuck you. Like, I don't give a shit about you one way or the other. Like, if you hate me that much, good. Like when, like when the people tell us to hang ourselves because our show sucks so bad. I love it. The thing is, I know our show doesn't suck. I know. I listen to so much fucking internet radio and so many like ter- terrestrial radio shows to know that our show does not suck. Well, so whatever. We'll make it one day. <laughs> but we it's sure all good, will. dude. That uh, negative attention is still good attention in my book. So yeah, me too. I love it. I don't like, know how we got on top on the topic of Rover, but what I'm saying is that's what I hate about his show. How he does that like races or that. So does he do that every day? I mean, I listen not to every, every day, but every other day. Yeah. If you find 
anything in the country that happens to make some bullshit podunk news headlines, mm-hmm. Rover will grasp it. Like, woman in – let me do Rover's voice. A woman <laughs> in uh, Nebraska – was uh, a waitress at a restaurant I and, a letter. and someone wrote uh, N-words on the receipt. <laughs> and let's spend 20 minutes talking about this. Callers, go. Like, I hate that shit, dude. It's so yeah. hacky. Um, anyway. So on the receipt, it said the N-word and then said no tip. And, um, you know, I feel like that is, well, okay, we got a phone call. <laughs> like, and then, and then, like, when, like, there's a black, like, guest in the studio he's so nice to them so nice right and then he gets scared though when they're gonna beat the fuck out of him <laughs> like the like the marley bro marley uh, guy uh, what's his name that the comedian uh, well i think Ro- i actually think rover could have beat tommy davis's ass well I, he's like he weighs a buck oh five <laughs> <laughs> tommy davis is like a fucking he is he's very come on. yeah so can, you could beat the shit out of tommy davidson i, I have, mean i will put my money on you seriously let's start let's get a fight between okay Anyways, I don't want to talk about this anymore. We're not going to talk about Rover anymore. Moving on. We're not the after show, the <laughs> best show in Cleveland. Anyway, <laughs> to my fellow white listeners, there is a huge difference between You're so lucky. You can niggers. say fellow white and fellow black listeners on the same day. <laughs> like, <laughs> why, why can't I? You can because you're mixed. Well, I can't say that. My fellow black listeners. You can say <laughs> that. You can say my fellow black you listeners. You can say that. I'm not black. I, they would not be my fellows. Why? They're people. You can say I, that. I can say my fellow people. I can say, for instance, I can say my fellow Asians right now. Yep. That's my weird to me, Mexicans. man. I would never say that. Do you think so? What, if I say fellow, it means like I have to be part of that. Yeah, yeah. That's history. what I feel. I feel like you're part of that if you're what saying if, fellow. It's a co-culture. Like my fellow gentlemen out there. I can't say like, okay, my fellow ladies. Like it just doesn't. I Well, fellow means fellowship, which right. means like. Well, humans have a fellowship. So, so I, I guess it makes sense. But I mean, it just. It just sounds. I get what you say. Yeah, I, I it just sounds saying. weird. I just, know it does yeah. sound weird, but anyway, um, there's a huge difference between e- er and a, and please don't confuse the two. You do not just because black people say it does not mean you can. And honestly, the reason why you can't say it is because when you were able to say it, you kind of fucking took it and ran with it, and you kind of like you know, uh, made the word uh, really bad. For black people. You kind of so, made people slaves. You kind of ruined okay. it for like 600 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. So let black people have that. Right. I don't right. understand why I can't say. Let us have that. You know, the first <laughs> time I, I, the first time anybody said anything racist to me was the other day at the bus stop. And it was a fucking uh, 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 like uh, an Arab. Wow. I was standing there and like these RTA police came by. And I was just still standing there waiting for the bus. And. This guy just lost his fucking mind. He was like, you're fucking cops, man. I fucking hate. Th- I can't even do the voice, but I fucking hate the cops. You fucking white people, you fucking cracker. And he's pointing at me. You love cops. And I'm like, I'm just trying to go to work. I don't give a shit who's here. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. This guy. I mean, he was like running back and forth. And I, I was like, like, I feel like this is like some world star hip hop shit right now. Why, why did you not film this? Well, I mean, this nothing, happened. This meltdown. nothing happened. No, I mean, I, I didn't want to grab my phone out. And be like, That's what you do now. Punch me in the face. Like, I was about to get punched in the face over him being an asshole. So this guy just, like, He lost off? his mind on RTA police that were, like, parked down under these things because they were, like, seeing if everything was going okay on the train station. Like they I were, love cops. Dude, I like cops. I know. I, 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 I like them. I don't I like them. I don't love cops. Fuck that. Because there's some, a few bad uh, apples with spoiled You know what? Lunch. Yeah, that's true. But they didn't do anything to him. I feel safer when there's cops around. Sorry. Yeah, and they didn't do anything to him. They didn't. He goes, well, I got arrested and a cop beat me up. And I was thinking, like, what the fuck did you do to get arrested and a cop beat you up, you asshole? Right. Like, he's like, everybody at the police station was yelling. All the cops were yelling at me, calling me names. Like, what did you do? Did you punch a cop in the face? Were you talking shit all night because you were belligerent drunk? Yeah. 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 And I was thinking that. And he was like, you fucking crackers, fucking white boys think the cops are fucking great. Well, they won't come to my house when I call them. And I was like, yeah, they will. You know what, man? To be honest with you, dude, like, I've. I've had a lot of situations where, like, I had to interact with cops, and I was drinking, but but I was I was never the one reason why they were called out. Right. You right. treat them how you want to be treated. They're people too, for Dude, the most part. Now there's those, bad there's, cops. There's yeah. There's those assholes. There's too. bad people that aren't cops. There's exactly. people are inherently good, bad, uh, whatever. For the most part, if you don't like mouth off and shit. That you know guy I mean? was one of the bad people. Right. Like now, do I automatically think that all Arabs are assholes because this one guy was like you fucking white guys and i'm like you're almost white 
<laughs> like, <laughs> you're whiter than I am right now. Like, but you're you cold. Know, unfortunately, people do take it there. Like, if they have one bad experience. That was, like, the first racial thing that's ever happened to me. Like, someone right. like, how? You grew up in Chardon. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you grew up in Chardon. I did, yeah. A so ton of like ninety eight percent white people. That's what I'm saying. That, that can't a, be the first time you've ever heard somebody say like some racist shit. Well, no, never really. I mean, not not directed at me. I know people from Char- well, you no, know, not directed at you. I'm saying, dude. I'm, I'm saying, like e- even in Chard, nobody was walking around being like, I hate black people. I mean, I don't, I don't recall that. Like none of my friends. No, ever did. there's never. No, there's. I know people from Chard, and it's not like that. Now, I'm not saying everybody from Chard is racist, obviously, but I'm just saying like. The further the, the the less interaction you have with an, a minority group, the easier it is for you to just say like passive aggressive racist shit. Right. No, that all the time. That makes sense because you're a product of your environment. If your exactly. environment is all white people all the time, and, and and you're not progressive enough to think differently than everybody around you, yeah. you could potentially, you know, even if you're not not necessarily. Uh, Inherently racist in your own right, you still pick up things that other people say, and you don't even. Sometimes you don't even know what you're saying is like highly offensive, right? Like black music, because <laughs> like, exactly, yeah, dude, or yeah, girlfriend, white, young yeah, white girls, like, like oh Christine, my God, young white girls, dude. <laughs> like Christine's <laughs> starting to talk like she, like, like with a like a slang in her voice when she's around it's, black people. It's ridiculous. Um, but anyway, and I think the reason why is because. Let's go break out. We go off the. <laughs> well, I want to. I want to tie this into well, something. Let me, so let's okay, not do let, that. let me just finish my one point. No, go ahead. Yeah. To to respond to that, the reason why there's a lot of passive aggressive racism among young people in this country still uh-huh. is because white is still the default in America. Right. It's the default. Right. So anything that's not white is automatically not normal. Exactly. And you're automatically an outsider. So people can go their entire lives. Living in what they consider the normal, the default, and the moment like you know they have to like come face to face with a different culture, a different perspective on like you know whatever they go, oh, they're the outsiders and right. their people are weird. Right. I will say to you, Carl, it's like I an alien you, coming down to earth. Whenever, whenever like a black person commits a crime, it's like yeah, oh, it's fucking black people. Man. But but right. when a, but when a white person commits what? a crime, what? Are you serious? Uh, hold on. But when a white person commits a crime, no, it's not because they're white. It's because oh, they were deranged or they had emotional problems. No, or they we've were had this discussion before. Yeah, I agree. They, were, they had some drug problems. I agree. It's never because they were fucking white. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, a white guy can rob a bank or or, or, or rob a guy walking down the street just as easy as a black guy could. But but it'll be a shocker. It'd be a shocker to white America, right? To be like, oh. Yep, another white guy robbing someone. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's always because like it even sounds funny to say it, it just is, in this conversation because right. it's always an outside factor with white people. It's oh because he had a drug problem. Oh because he was going on tough times. Right. Well, his wife left him. Uh, oh well, you know, no, it's always some shit like that. Damn it, another. But when it's, like, but when it's a minority, it's because their race. Another white guy blew up the World Trade Center. They weren't going through some shit. It was their race. An- another <laughs> white guy robbed the convenience store down the street. You know what, Carl? I, I know Tim. I know Tim who robbed that convenience store, and Tim was going through a lot of things at that point. No, he was just – it was just a white guy doing white guy things. Oh, you're, you're right. It was. You know what? Yeah. Those jail <laughs> those jails are full of white guys. Hey, man. I mean, look at it. Jails are full of white people. <laughs> All the time. I mean, look at it. Yeah. Do I mean, you know what? Dude, <laughs> it sounds, I, wouldn't it be fucking weird if the world just flipped? You know what's like funny? One day? Right. Dude, I actually got into an argument about this, about the, that, that – yeah. Well, black people. Uh, j- uh, sixty percent of uh, jails are filled with black people, and then I had to pull the article. Not the art. It wasn't an article. It was actually the uh, census statistics of uh, how um, black people are targeted, arrested, and convicted yeah. far more than white people for the exact same crimes. Right. Now, so of course there are more black people now. Than Latinos and you think in about jail. prisons. Okay. If you look, I, I watch Locked Up. There is a majority of black people in those prisons. Yes, there is. Right. And another thing why I think that would be that way is because, and this, I'm going to try and tie it into this. A lot of crime happens in, in a city environment. More so, and you think of, look at the statistics of where I live compared to, like, someone living in Chardon, Chardon for example. You have more crime happening and a higher population of black people 
living in the city. It's just there's something w- that's true. There's a higher concentration of black people living in the city than in the suburbs, right? But, but and, if, and, if I may, and poverty, if I may, right? There you go. I hate how people either willfully or not willfully choose to ignore socioeconomic conditions, and that's where I was that going with it. Yeah, someone's life. That's where I'm going with it. In a city. Blacks were forced to congregate in the ghettos of a city, which were right. once, you know, where the Jews lived and the Italians and the Irish and whatever minorities but, of every. But because, race. but because, like they were still white skinned, they were able to like rise above those conditions and whatever. And I'm not a black apologist. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a fucking you know. Well, you got to give black people like you know a break. No, I'm not one of those fucking people. I'm not Jesse Jackson. But hear me <laughs> out. You cannot ignore. The socioeconomic history of blacks right, in this fucking right. country and expect them to be on equal footing with white Americans, okay? And what pisses me off the most is the fucking 20 and 30 year olds who have been raised in the middle class suburbs all their entire life and they'll look down on fucking black people in the ghetto and go, well, well just fucking educate yourself. Just get right. a job. Get a job. Fuck yeah. you, dude. Right. You've had every opportunity uh, in life right. to be a fuck up and your parents rebound you and help you out. Right. Dude, I, had, I hate those motherfuckers. I had a discussion with someone at my at a previous job that I had, and I got in a lot of trouble for this discussion. And I said, they were talking about, like, her her husband was a police officer, and she was like, I hate drug dealers. She has to arrest them all the time. And, and I was like, and this doesn't necessarily go with race, but this is just, you know, an example of something. I said, so if, we could give me a drink. if I lived <laughs> in, in a place where... Surrounded by poverty, mm-hmm. and someone said, "Hey, buddy, this is your way out. You can make a lot of money selling this crack to anybody that comes to and you." It's the easy way. And I said, "And I said I hated being here because you can't love living in shit in the poverty like that, despite no. how you act about it. Because you're trying to make yourself feel better about the situation that you're yeah, living in. Right. So you're going to be like, well, I would never leave the ghetto, blah, blah blah.' Because you want to make it. It's just like." Think about it this way. You know how Clevelanders, we love Cleveland. Cleveland's awesome. It's a shithole. But we love it because <laughs> it's, our it's, it's our shithole. And it makes us feel better to say we love it because there's <laughs> stories come out to say it's the most miserable place to live well, the in the thing, world and things like that. Hint, hint. This is such a good conversation, dude. I, I, I can just riff all night so, on so this. Think about it, though. Real quick, though. Clevelanders. But, 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 the reason why we love Clevelanders but, 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 is because of Clevelanders. Clevelanders right. are awesome Ders people. Rock. Right, right. But people are, oh, you know, it's a t-shirt, it's a six, ah, woo! and I love it too. And the reason being, I think that people, they love it, is you make the best of a bad situation. So when you're in a ge- when you're living in the ghetto, and like I said, I'm not tying this back to race necessarily, but when you live in the ghetto, you are trying to make yourself feel better about your situation you're in. Right. So you could be like, I love living here, I don't want to leave here, okay? But but people that – like I was telling the girl at work, I'm like, I understand, and I would do that. I, if, I, if I knew that this was my way out, I could save money and get the fuck out, dude, I would sell drugs to anybody that came and up to me. The, the, Crack the girl. Fucking, the girl, if you're talking about your job, is the exact fucking person yeah. I hate. You know what she said because to me? Because it's easy for her to say some shit like that. She's never had to grow up in poverty. Right. That, She's right. never had to like have a shitty educational system, raising a shitty education from the moment she was in kindergarten. Right. And now not, I necessarily so, so didn't, Carl, didn't grow up in those situations so either. Carl, let, let me ask you a question. But but you have more self-awareness. Right. You have more empathy yeah, than just, she does. Dude, I some people, see it. I've seen it my whole sense. life, so like, Carl, and I made my own thoughts about it. Like Here's the thing. Let's say you were raising the ghetto, Carl. Right. And let's say you've been giving – an awful uh, set of cars to play in right. life, okay? Which half the people in the ghetto now, are. Now, what's now what's easier for you uh, to get out of the ghetto? Sell crack, get good at sports, get good at music, or address your illiter- illiteracy that you've had from the moment you were born because no one's ever been Because you have a actually. shitty parents because they didn't do that before you. Yeah, vicious cycle. Your, cycle. your parents were illiterate before them. Their parents were illiterate. Because it's, they uh, because their great grandparents came from the deep south, they're former slaves and they were illiterate. Right. Let's let's go to the underfunding of the school system. Since you were in kindergarten, you've had one teacher for fucking forty students. Okay. 
Um, so, and your school everybody. closed, and you had to go somewhere to do another so school. Why, now you have one teacher for 48 students. So here's right. why you never actually learned to read so good. And the, student, the teachers don't make very much money, so then they're teaching, they're like, they, 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 like they essentially become babysitters. And, and you have students in your class, you and you have you have classmates that act up and make it fucking hard to go yeah. to school. And, and if you were in like a, a, a good school system, those problem childs would be weeded out and into their separate class so the other kids could actually learn. But the you kids don't have at that these in the schools, you don't the have kids that at those hood. schools, they don't have anywhere else to go. You don't right. have that. They, they can't all, weed them out. What are they going to do? Together. They're going to put them in another school, and they're going to be the same problem that they were at that school, yeah. at the other school. So you see how this starts to snowball. <laughs> right. You right. never right. get a chance to actually, like, fucking do good I'm for I'm selling yourself. crack, playing sports, or it's getting so good at music. It's so easy for fucking conservatives to be like, uh, well, just you, you got to learn to want to buckle down and read and, like, Fuck you, dude. And, and, and you'll, hear, you'll hear from every fucking guy over 50. Well, you know, uh, I grew up poor, and uh, I did this and did that, and here I am now today. Right, no, Motherfucker, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make that Obama thing that, like, you had help, even though he's kind of right. Yeah. You did have help. You did. Your skin color was fucking help. But anyway. I mean, it, not even necessarily the skin color, because, because other races that are not I think it more boils down to where rather than what you are, like where you are. So if you are a white guy in the ghetto, you're going to have the same shitty opportunities as a black guy in the ghetto. If you're a black guy in Chardon, which we had a, f- a couple, um, you would have the same opportunities the white guys in Chardon I have. I agree with that. I agree and, with that. and now you live in Willoughby or some, you know, you know, somewhere nicer than look at, look the ghetto. Me, look at me, for example, okay? I was ra- born and raised in Warrensville Heights. Right. Not the best suburb whatsoever. No. But it's no. damn far from Cleveland. <laughs> East okay? Cleveland or Warrensville Heights? I'd take East Cleveland over that. I mean, Warrensville Heights. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you would take East Cleveland. Yo, I like <laughs> it. But you know what I'm saying? But it, but it was still bad enough that the school system is shit. Right. In Warrensville Heights. School system is shit. My mom had to take me out of Warrensville Heights and put me in a private school. Right. Now. I have the same opportunities as the white guy from Chardon because I went to a private school. Right. I was able to go to college. Okay. So uh, me personally, there's nothing holding me back but myself. Right. There's no reason why I can't earn fifty thousand dollars a year or higher. Just like okay. The Just like white the white guy, guy from Chardon. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, I honestly do. Sometimes I'll be sitting there and I'll think, dude, what if my mom never took me out of Warrensville Public? And you went who there. Who would you be? I would be. You wouldn't even be a different, completely different know. guy, dude. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't even recognize me, man. Yeah, you're a product. Of you would have shaved your head a lot earlier. <laughs> a lot earlier. Had a teardrop tattoo yeah. by now. <laughs> <A> ice cream <laughs> cone on one yep. side. Because <laughs> I love Gucci. Uh, we all know that. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but dude, you're a product of your fucking environment. You are. Man. You, you are. are. And for people to say, and for people to like downplay that, you're full of shit, man. And I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So yeah. So, so basically, sad. it is. It is. It, uh, and I got uh, a smooth, uh, a stern talking to at work that my previous job about what I said. I would sell drugs if I was in that situation mm. to get to try and get out of that situation, right. or if it couldn't get me out of that situation, at least make me feel like I wasn't the same as the guy living next door to me, where his house was falling apart. Like I have money in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, and that. And that, and I got yelled at at work for that. I got called into an office. I didn't say I sell drugs. I didn't oh, say, wow. "Hey, you want to buy drugs for me right. while we're at work?" I said, "I understand when you're in a, 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 a economic situation like that, the 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 selling of drugs. I understand it. I understand it to get out. And I'm not talking to a dude selling weed. Right. You know what I mean? I'm talking a dude that sell. Uh, I mean, like." I honestly think there's a difference between a crack dealer and a, a fucking weed dealer. It is. Like, it is. I mean, you can make a lot more money with crack. <laughs> like, <laughs> make a lot more money with coke. If you're just a, like a small time weed dealer, big deal. Like, what? I mean, you, you just I mean, make trinkets. Yeah, you're making your money. You like, right. you know, you love it. Well, I had a cousin. You know, she was homeless, and to make ends meet, you know, she didn't have a place to stay. She was selling drugs just to make ends meet so she could, you know, provide for her and her son. And, I mean, right now she's making over $60,000. She's selling drugs? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying when she was I had a cousin. Younger. She sells drugs. Now she's making $60,000. <laughs> selling drugs? <laughs> like, no. She has a full-time job. but That's awesome. See? She got past it. Right. She got past but it. But, like, 
I don't know, man. I I just think I don't even know how we got on this topic, but it's we're rolling, Bubby. We're I like rolling. it, I, Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bubby. What are, you, what are you, my Jewish grandpa? Yeah, Bubby? no, no. That's what uh, one of our our, our ex friends used to call her boyfriend. That's why I deleted her off Facebook because she called him Bubby, Bubby in every post, and I was like, oh my god, fucking stop! It'd be like, oh my Bubby and I are going to the Dude, mall today. Is it who I'm thinking of? E. Because I, I haven't, yeah, because I haven't heard from her. I deleted her. Wow. Did she delete you? We oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure she did. When those the, well, the, I think the only reason, like, because the Facebook works on a, on an uh, uh, algorithm. Yeah. And the like, the only reason you'll see a certain person's post over and over, even though you you never talk to them, is because you're mutual friends with someone you talk to all the time. So I would see E's post all the time, even though like I only talk to you. Does that right. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So now that you're gone. On her Facebook, I don't see her. You ever. should check and see because I think she deleted the lot of us because wow. of the moose selfie. She really did not like that. Be honest, with you, I never liked her personally. I know, I, I thought she was an asshole. She sometimes. didn't have any personality. Yeah, she was, had like nothing. Yeah, dude, like baby, baby, baby. my butt. But it would be like this. She, my like, bubby went to the mall today. Bah, 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 she bah, like <laughs> fucking dated Dan, so that shows you her character right dude, there. I, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm being honest, man. The people you never you met Dan. The people you choose <laughs> no, to date you says a lot about you, about dude. Sorry. You never met Dan. Dan was a piece of work. Dan was a white nigga. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> he was. <laughs> so we got like, really quiet. She was like. No, because I'm envisioning that. Wow. Okay, yeah. You no, know I, those people. I know. <laughs> no. they, white people call them wiggers. Yeah. The wiggers, yeah. Because they didn't get away with the igger. Yeah. Without the, the, the N in front of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And th- nobody knows what we're referencing to. <laughs> I think it's so stu- that word. It's just as bad as the other one. Like it's so stupid. You're literally like, saying white nigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and people are like, yeah. There's nothing wrong with saying wigger, right? <laughs> and you're like, who? Steve Moose says that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steve Moose. <laughs> <laughs> he's on vacation and like he's flying to go on a cruise. You're right. Parents. He shaved his head, dude. You're right. Yeah. I saw pictures. Yeah. Anyway, Steve Moose is the archetype of the conservative motherfuckers I despise. For Steve Moose, everything's black and white. Everything's default white American. If you're not default white American from this middle well, class suburbs, you. then there's something wrong with you, and you're a problem in this country. Ugh. Steve Moose is the motherfucker who could join the Tea Party in Hello. a second. Hello, I, 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 the black people in the ghetto and need then, to move out. And then trying like, <laughs> to like <laughs> rationalize it to you. Yeah, exactly. look, 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 all you guys got to do is move. I moved like three times. <laughs> like, <laughs> stupid ass. Oh, he is a stupid ass. You know what? And okay. I like Steve Moose, but really, really <laughs> I do. Too, I way. really like him. I really like him. He's like he's like John Benz, dude. Yeah, yeah. Him and John Benz can have a circle jerk all night, dude. We should like him. set him up on the, some uh, chairs. Or a buddy and date, let him a talk. We'll let him talk on the air. Like they're like they're like, right? but, dude, I'm gonna grab your dick now. <laughs> 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 if they, I mean, I don't care if they like you know have a partnership. Don't call it marriage. <laughs> that kind of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, balls in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Moose. <laughs> John, if you're listening, I love you, bro. Uh, all right, we're going to take a break. When we get back, I have some explosive information about a local personality that I would like to share with all of you. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Yep. Holy shit. All right, we got, we got we to gotta talk about this before you do it. You gotta run this past me, man. We agreed that you would run this past me. Uh-oh. I told you the whole story. No, I know. <laughs> I have to do this. Dude, I have to do I'm it. I'm tapping out. I can't. I, I have. To, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you why I have to do it. I have to do it because number one, I don't think there's anything wrong with him for doing this. I don't think there's anything wrong with him for doing this. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna make. To make it, I'm telling you right now, this is not gonna end good. This guy that he's going to, like, expose has a lot more power than we do. He has a lot more money than we do. He has a lot more influence than we do. What is he going to do? I'm not saying – I'm not going to say, like, he does this. Well, like, you better put – you better make sure you put I'm gonna, allegedly I'm going to say everything. allegedly before okay. everything. Right. Yes, but please. But I allegedly have some alleged information that I allegedly heard from some alleged woman that I'm going to release when we come back from break. Play the George Cassandra sound effect right now. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go nuts. Let's get nuts. Mahogany and Fur. Aces and Eights Tattoos. Located at 644 Canton Road in Akron. Yeah. 
144 Kent Road, Akron. Ohio's premier tattoo and piercing parlor. Check out their Facebook page to search Aces and Ace. See art by Rose, Chris, and all the piercings by Bill. Give them a call at 330-733-7122. 7122. Smith Snapshots in Akron is the one stop for all of your photography needs. From wedding photos to full on shoots, we can even provide models if you need a beautiful woman to make your photos pop. You can check us out on Facebook, just search Smith Snapshots, or give us a call to check out our portfolio at 330 790 1361. Again, call Bill at Smith Snapshots at 330 790 one three six one listen to mahogany and fur live thursdays at 7 p.m eastern standard time only on wtmt cleveland.com the wonder years there there you're just trying to You know, we'd probably tower over the competition. If Carl wasn't a midget. Welcome back to Mahogany and Fur. What is this? You know what it is? It's Jay Z, dog. Deja vu. Uh, Every time we play this, we're like, oh shit, what is this? <laughs> it's, one it is. Favorite, it's one of my favorite beats of all time. Do you know what the song's called? And I remember it's off the newer one. It's a hot beat. It sounds like some old school, like Dr. Dre, the chronic shit. Right. Because yeah. at first I was like, okay. <laughs> right, so right. Familiar. <laughs> so, guys, girls, listeners, I have some information about a local. Can I have a. a before you get into this, <laughs> I have some information. <laughs> I have a. Uh, uh, I have some local. I, I have a. There's a local radio man named Rover, <laughs> and Rover. You know, there's been he's been in the news recently uh, with his whole alleged stuff that he did, and I'm sure you all heard of it. I'm not going to rehash that. We were talking about Rover a few minutes ago, so I figured this would be the perfect time to 
tie it all back together. So, I was at a bar with a girl, and I'm not going to name any more names. I, okay, her name is Jen. You don't have to twist my leg, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out that alleged, Rover allegedly, number one, was dating a girl named Megan. Well, not dating. He was having romantic escapades with this girl named Megan. Now, Megan and Rover never actually dated. Okay? So they didn't date. They were just... They were just buds, I guess. Uh, you know, what would you call that? Fuck buddies. Yeah, fuck buddies. Yeah. So, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, your friend... How'd they meet? I don't know. That's part of the story. This is why you... Well, I, I can't get a hold of that girl now again. Like... She just like doesn't respond to text now. So disclaimer: This is all alleged. Alleged. This Allegedly. is all alleged. I don't know if this happened. I have. Her friend was Megan. Jen told me this. I'm presenting this to you. Take take it as you may. Take it with a grain of salt, or take it as fact. Alleged. Take it oh. as gospel. <laughs> but so Megan was fucking Rover. And Rover. Now, this is one of the things – and now, now disclaimer uh, in front of this, I necessarily don't – I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with what I'm about to say to you. It, it's fine. But when you know who Rover is, this sounds – this is, like, more explosive than it actually probably would be for, like, a normal He, he would never actually, admit like, to this. Yeah, ever. Um, so, Tamika, do you know what pegging is? No. You don't? Mm-mm. You don't know what pegging is? Come on, you know. Mm-mm. No, she doesn't. Do you know what pegging is? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Pegging is when a man, ooh, when a man <laughs> wears, or no, when a woman, excuse me, wears a strap-on apparatus with attachments, and they insert these attachments into the receptive partner. Now, if anybody wants to be more blunt about what I'm saying, go feel free. So a guy gets F in the A. By his, by, his by his girlfriend. By his G. <laughs> right. By his okay. girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. So a I guy didn't know it was an actual name for it. It's called pegging. Here's my question. Is it like, is it an actual dildo or is it like some kind of different or thing? A strap on. It's a strap on with a dildo like attached to it. Okay. So now, okay. Mm. Okay. So, so bag, so getting a dildo inserted into your ass is one thing as a guy. Like, you know, your girlfriend puts it, puts it in there. That's one thing. That's not pegging? No, that's just like foreplay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. but when your girlfriend puts on the strap on and like, yeah, oh, I'm gonna fuck you, and like, is it, wait, how'd they go? I'm gonna fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and she gets on top of you and and be, or like you know, bends you over doggy style. That's a whole different level of humiliation, mm. because I think more so than I mean, I'm sure something in your anus feels good. Ask your husband. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I'm sure it feels good. There, I think it's more the power. Yeah, it, it's like it's it, almost the same thing as a guy like who's in the BDSM, BDSM, right? And like the woman's just uh, like a complete dominatrix right. over him, and, and he oh, barely steps oh, on his balls, oh, shit oh, like mama. that. Oh God, I'm such a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. So Spank me in my booty. Same kind Call of thing. Me mama. Right? Same kind of thing, right? I to be considered to that. <laughs> I can see her. She looks like a like rock woman. Like a lace up, like and like big boots. I yeah. do got the boots though. Yeah, see, uh, and like a switch. Yeah, I need, a switch. I need a whip though. Do you have? You don't have one. No, I ain't got a whip, but I'll get one. She already has a red hair for it. <laughs> Dude, when oh, <laughs> sidebar when my uh, when our previous news girl lived here, I found she had one of those in a room. Like I don't remember why she was like laying out, and I like grabbed what? it. I chased her around the entire house, hit her in the ass with it as hard as I could, just like. <laughs> And she was like, <laughs> like running L- around. LD had a whip. Yeah. What? Yeah. It wow. was funny. She was she was into the chasing though. It was really I weird. It. Yeah, I believe. I believe all. <laughs> of um, so, anyways, allegedly, allegedly, Arver Rover takes it in the booty from his girlfriend, which, like I said, to each their own in their sexual escapades, whatever you want to do. <laughs> More so, I find the part that she tried to explain to me. Weird, where she didn't, he didn't want to date her necessarily, like, want, like, like exclusively, and she was always complaining about it. So allegedly, Rover allegedly paid off allegedly Megan with alleged fifty dollar gift cards to Best Buy. What the fuck? Like, 
I'm not going to be your boyfriend, but here's a $50 gift card. Save him up and you can get yourself a TV. And that's exactly what she did. She bought a big TV for her living room with, <laughs> with Rover's gift cards. How do they meet? I don't know that part of the story. I don't uh, know any of that. But, but she, the girl that told me this, does not listen to Rover, has never listened to Rover. I take her word on it. She explained the trip to Greece that they had in details that you would only know about if you were listening to the show or your friend was the girl he took to Greece, banged on the port or on the balcony and fell and broke his wrist. So take it for what you will, but our alleged Cleveland's best radio DJ Rover allegedly takes it in his butt from his, from Megan and now probably the new one and uh, pays him off $50 gift cards to Best Buy. That's weird. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how to say this um, without getting sued. <laughs> <laughs> that is Mark talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not Carl hey, or Tamika. Hey, listen, man. We're, 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 we're an LLC. But <laughs> hey, not yet. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, um, we are. But what is it with guys who have, like, power and influence? Right. Who, like, right. have the need to, like, have some kind of freak fetish. Right. Well, I don't get it. It's because they have the power, though, I think. Because all day you're a powerful radio host or whatever you do, and you just want to not be that guy for you want to be the opposite. Really? You want to be the opposite. Yeah, I think you that, be that completely submissive. CEOs do like weird shit all the time. Yeah, yeah. How do you know? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <I saw laughs> to it. make a date to CEO that like used to like <laughs> be like peg me. No. I had a girl was like one time I went on a date and this girl was like. Have you ever heard of pegging? And I was like, yeah, I know what it is. And she was like, well, would you want to do it? And I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> like, <laughs> not really into that. I mean, you can put a finger in there if you want or something like that. But, I mean, I don't know if I want you to fuck me. <laughs> like, just think how, sound how, hear how final that sounds. Like, I'm getting fucked by my girlfriend later. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> here's the thing, man. I'm, I'm in a crux because, like, I've, I, I know it would probably be a great feeling. Like right. the anus is a. Uh, There's tons of nerves. It's all yeah. That's where like your balloon is. It all. That's where like you know how the balloon tied up there. Everything is there. All the pressures at right. that knot. All the pressures on your knot. But that's every what time it is. I've had a girl like touch get, it, cl- I just whoop. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've, what is that? I've noticed that. Have I, you? I mean, I've, have you ever touched it? Disclaimer I, I, to make it was not one of the girls. I'm, I'm just, no, yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, she did she, say she that. Like, like I noticed. That. I noticed. No, no. That's <laughs> That w- wait a minute, guys. But then again, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's radio, but Mark moved most bikes away from right. each of them and said allegedly. to make it stop telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> and then he killed her. She's dead. That's a recording of her laugh. Uh, go ahead, but Tamika. No, I wanted to ask just in general as far as men because they like to do that, but – if you try to do it to them, they like it, but they don't want you to think they like right. it. Right, and is. I just wanted to know. Like, in if you general, had a conversation with your husband, you were like, "Hey, baby, um, tonight when we have sex, I'm gonna touch your butthole." He'd probably be like, "No, no, 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 I don't want you to." Do that. <laughs> but if you were like blowing him and you put your finger by his butthole and rubbed it, he'd probably be like, "All right, all right, all right." But here's the thing, though. Like, <laughs> I, I agree. With I, yeah, 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 I agree with everything you just said. I totally agree with you. If yeah. it was more socially acceptable, but I've I've went limp. I wonder mm-hmm. if it's like. So did is it, it like, like was a it deep, not arousal deep psychological thing? Was it not? Did it not feel good? I don't. I don't know. So did I think it might be but, more psychological. It was, it was more like a stop the show kind of thing. Like what the fuck are you doing? Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, so this is what I wanted to know. Like, okay, as far as gay men, so how are they well. so aroused? <laughs> 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 Mark's crazy tonight. He's like, I know. He's no, like, I'm bisexual. Well, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer: Mark is not bisexual. Allegedly, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. Uh, look, it's jury buddies. But no, I just. <laughs> Shut up. I gotta jury talk to you guys about that. I mean, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit too. No, I just as far as gay men, I just try. We have way too much content for this show tonight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like a five-hour show, but anyway. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how is it. Here's the problem. Wait, time out. It's already 9.30, and we said we're only going to do a two-hour show. (laughs) It is 9.30. We haven't done MFR. We haven't done, like, one news story. story. (laughs) (laughs) We cannot fit 
our awesome talent into it's a, a two-hour show. show. But tonight we are because I want to get drunk and eat some <laughs> macaroni and cheese. So fuck you guys. Hurry up. Tamika, go. <laughs> as far as gay men, I'm just trying to figure out how are they so aroused by that. I Okay, I'm going to... We're going to find out that next week. I'm gonna no, that's somebody, an, I, I know the answer to I'm that. But I want to have someone come in that is gay to tell us why they I'm are a gay man. It. Yes. Okay. And, All right. and, and, and more so, and his name is Mark. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, dude. I'm just you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Moose. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's in the other room getting a drink. Hey, guys, bring me a beverage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm just yeah. fucking with you. <laughs> All right, so so I will I will get somebody in the studio to answer let us, that question. to answer that question. Okay, but I will say that any kind of homosexual porn that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm not laughing. I don't understand why that's even funny. I don't get it. Go on. Why is that funny? Just tell me why it's funny. I've never seen it. You've never gay porn. seen it ever. I've never you've seen never, gay porn. You've never like I've seen the thumbnails on porn sites of gay porn, but I've never actually seen a video. Well, oh, apparently fuck you have. me. I've seen a video. Like <laughs> I, I just think it's funny. That's fucking weird that I've seen something that exists. I think it's like, funny. All right, so Oh god. <laughs> like when Why are you getting so defensive? I think it's funny. No, it is. When the when the guy I'm trying to say this and be like, every time I've watched gay porn, I've noticed. <laughs> every night, I noticed this. <laughs> just the way you said it. No, like, like look, 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 look. Every time I've seen gay pornography. The, <laughs> exactly. The ins- <laughs> every time. The insertive partner. Not once. Has an er- erection. Every time. Mm-hmm. The, the receptive partner never has an erection. He's always just flopping around. And I'm always like, hmm, why does that guy not have an erection? While insertive guy has a raging erection. <laughs> and this guy's going, whoa, whoa. And the other guy's going, eh, eh. <laughs> like, I, okay, look, I'm not homophobic. I don't care what you do in the bedroom. I really think that, that anal sex probably doesn't feel good for anybody. Like, it just, it doesn't look like it feels good for those guys. And it, and it sometimes it doesn't look like it feels good for girls. Other times I think they're acting I very disagree. well. And here's why. Why? Okay, this is going to get in the gutter. <laughs> as, as Try and keep it as clean as, as possible. If this show has uh, not already been in the gutter. Keep it G keep rated. It, all right. <laughs> How can you keep this G rated? Right. Right. You put it into her balloon knot. All right, this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be in the gutter, but I'm going to try to keep it as Ugh, okay. Dude, try, try. It's funnier when you try to keep it. <laughs> I know. Right? When you're just like, I fucked her in the ass. It's e- not that funny. Even saying everything I just said, that I am the guy you, I get limp whenever a girl right. like right g- even gets close to it. Right. <clears throat> okay. Anal sex must feel good because how many times have you taken a very good dump and you're just like, oh, oh that felt great. <laughs> right. What the hell? All right. Right, but I don't get a boner when I take a dump. Very true. Right. I'm not, but, like, I'm not but, like taking a dump and I'm like, Bleh. But that just <laughs> automatically says that anal sex feels. And another thing, I've talked to girls. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I've talked to girls where we've had conversations with like, because, you know, you know, young, young and behind the green air, Mark goes, it can't possibly feel good. The and they go, they go, yeah, it does feel good. Like, and literally, I've had one girl explain to me the exact same analogy I, I just said to you. Taking like, a dump? Imagine taking a really <laughs> good You had dump. a girl you had anal sex with tell you about taking a dump. Actually, I didn't have anal sex with oh, her. Okay, all right. That would have been weird to we, me. I don't we know. just talked about this. And Look, she when said... When we have anal sex? <laughs> she said that imagine that feeling over and 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 over. And she said that a lot of people, when they first have anal sex, they freak out. And they go, stop, 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 because they think they're going to poop. They're not going to poop. No, it's not poop. But yeah. it's just your there brain. There might be some poop. Your, brain is, your brain's telling you that you're going to you're pooping right now because that's the same feeling. Yeah, yeah. And she said that once you get past that freak out reaction. The dump phase. You love it. <laughs> dump phase. <laughs> that's what she said. We should call it the dump phase. Uh, Tamika. Mm-hmm. You are. Tamika's totally took it in the ass. Wait, hold on. Let's ask I, her. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Tamika is. 
the resident woman on the show. Yes. Uh, Tamika has. Do you know how many times Tamika like had an idiot in the butt? It's not even funny, dude. A few it's at not least. Even funny. I mean, <laughs> the numbers. <laughs> Tamika, tell us about your anal lie. experience. Like what? What? What is the feeling? Like I, I know probably every woman has the dump phase, mm-hmm. but like, is it pleasurable to the point of it like being worthwhile doing it? For like the dump phase and for like you know for everything that involved in it and was was the girl accurate? Who called it the dump phase? The or dump who who phase. invented no, Carl, the? I, yeah, we invented dump. Carl phase. called it the dump phase. Uh-huh. What the fuck, we Walter? But <laughs> <laughs> um, she was. She I just looked at you like this. She was. Yeah, she was a hundred percent. Give me that look all the time. I just ignore it. Oh my god. All right, so what? She was 100%. Uh, okay. it, it is a feeling that you get, and it's just to a point where... A feeling or a feeling? Feeling. A feeling. It's both. <sighs> it's a cavity feeling. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rim shot. Um, no pun intended. Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop. Going. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's just that kind of... You know, you get to the point. Some people, some well, not people. Some females, they actually have orgasms. You know, while it's going on. Wait, women actually have orgasms? What? I said orgasms while the anal sex is going on. While what is going on? Everybody, be quiet. Keep so going. Can say anal sex. She's taking a sip of her beverage. She's being <laughs> very uncomfortable right now. Keep going, it's Mika. I was gonna take my drink. Yeah, take your drink, but keep explaining. It's, it's really hard to explain. So, No, I'm serious. So because when your partner inserts their mm-hmm. genitalia into your their genitalia back door, into your buttocks. What, <laughs> what it goes through your mind, because I'm sure it's more so than just sexual, it's a mind thing. It's I agree with very, that. Yeah, it is a mind thing. It's very pleasurable. It's like, damn, actually, you know, you, you can do this, you feel this, you, it's like you just, I have to take a shit. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> so, going so Tamika, on. once you get past it, like, okay, I actually don't have to take a dump right mm-hmm. now. I could just enjoy this. Is it like just like a uh, stairway to orgasm? Yeah. Led Zeppelin cover song. So, do you yeah. orgasm from <laughs> anal? I have. Not, okay, all right. Hey, not, hey, not all the time. Was there any frontal stimulation going on, or is it that's just that was my question? Good question. Oh, frontal stimulation. Like, were you like kind of like playing a DJ? Why you were doing this? <laughs> why you, why you, why you, while this is happening? A couple of times, but it actually can happen without frontal stimulation. That's, that's fascinating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the saddest anal sex music oh ever. Oh, no, it's, 80, it's Jay Greyhound presents 80s porn music volume one. That doesn't even sound like porn I music. Lo- I love how there's like, like a damn jazz song. song. This is more than one of them. this Jay guy. He what, if, like, what if he did make the volumes, but like only one came out? <laughs> but I love how like he was, he was so inspired that he made volumes of this. Right. Tell me volumes you didn't love of- the timing of that horn crescendo right there, though. And like we finished talking for a second and <laughs> <laughs> like it just came. In. It came immediately. Oh my God. Literally. Bow. Wow. <laughs> Blah blah booey. <laughs> So that's it. That's what I gotta say. So do you, okay. All right. Let me get a little delve. Let me delve deeper. <laughs> ah, um, do you? And the puns don't stop. So the first stop. <laughs> for, so the first time, did you use lubrication? Yes. Do okay. you always use lubrication? Not all the time. Hmm. I mean, but it doesn't happen all the time either. You, can I let, interject? And yes, inject. This is the word. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I see what you did there. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this is the whiskey talking because I would never like share this sober. But <laughs> I've tried anal sex twice. Mm-hmm. The first time, like the girl freaked out, bailed out, like, "No, you're you're too big. Blah, 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 fuck this." But she didn't use lube. Disclaimer: Mark is not too big. <laughs> but she didn't really use lube. So that so if I feel like if I had done it right, she, I could have got it in. Second time, I got in, and I didn't like it, Tamika. Didn't like it. I preferred the vag because I felt like her ass was too loose compared mm-hmm. to what I was used to. Right. Does that make sense? No, it does. No, actually. 
That has never happened to me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just played chicken. I'm like, right. I was, I was like, are you are you bullshitting me? And he was like, ask me if I'm bullshitting you. Yeah, I was. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I, I just know this. Okay. But yeah, I, I don't like anal, man. I'm, oh, I, okay. I prefer vaginal inter, inter, intercourse to anal. I, I feel like JJ. the anus stretches way too much <laughs> to my comfort. <laughs> and, uh, but it, it really does. And it's shocking because, honestly, the You can only pass some objects through an anus. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I've can. seen some I've pass seen, through. I have, too. Oh I've seen God. some gaping anuses on porn. Yeah. Well, I've, I've seen this article. Disgusting, where actually. They oh, show my God. It's gross. Who watches that? Like, it, they, they show basketball like, in there. Who, who actually yeah. gets off of that shit, dude? And who goes? We listen, don't know. listen. I'll give you five thousand dollars to put this basketball in your butt. Then there's go. no way that's ever happened. The, I've seen it. You seen a, a basketball? basketball? Well, maybe not full size, like regulation no. basketball, but oh. a basketball. No, no right, one's ha- ever hang the fuck on then, motherfucker. No, <laughs> no I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Hey, hey, I've bro. seen hey, bottles call, and you call my bluff. I don't want to see this. I'm looking it up now. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I can't even All watch right, uh, like mini basketballs on this one. Hot brunette's ass swallows eight mini basketballs. Eight. What? Dude, that's fucking disgusting. You ready to see it? Eight? Come over here. Yeah, no, I don't, don't see want to see it. I don't want to see it. Mm-mm. He's hungry for some balls. <laughs> He's hungry for some balls. That's what he said. Tamika, come here. Mm-mm. I don't want to yeah. see that. I I just don't want to look. No. Oh my god. I oh know. my god. Are you? So Serious. What? I turned the volume down. Oh my god! She just god. put them in there too. Like, I had to turn the volume off on it though. I don't want to air porn on our channel. Oh, oh my god! Wait what till she fuck? shits that out. <laughs> oh wait, she'll do it. Oh uh, no, we don't want. Oh that. my god! <laughs> I can't believe what I'm saying right now. How is that possible? I have no idea. Where's it go? Wow. Where does Inter- it go? Inner colon or something. I don't know where it goes. Inter- oh, inter- my God. Inner cavity. <laughs> I oh. mean, she's just putting them in there. Oh, wow. All right. Are to you the, serious? To the listeners, bloop. <laughs> we're <laughs> actually, burp. <laughs> we're, it's we're, a reverse burp. Reverse we're, burp. We're actually watching a, a very, like, thin girl put literally, like, the mini basketballs that you oh would, like, buy out God. of, or you would, like, win out of, like, a the little prize machine at, like, a bowling alley. She just put, like, five of them. Eight. Eight? She put eight of them in her ass. With no problem. They didn't even, like, she wait, didn't wait, even... Wait, here, here it comes. Oh, wait a minute. I thought it was no, I'm not going to watch this. Mm. Oh, no, another one! Oh, <laughs> this is gross. Oh, this is a sound effect. Oh, no. Are you sick? No, I can't. Dude, I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. What the Oh. Hold on. Wait till she burps him out, though. Oh, shit. You want to come out? Can you watch it? Can you yeah, watch show me your OB box. You know? Oh, <laughs> hell no. Okay. Boop. I'm in cup in my way right now. Three, I can actually see her like thought. Four. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you sick? Oh, oh Darn my! Ah! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, the, oh, ah! <laughs> oh dude! Oh. There's oh, more in God. there. Are you sick? Oh, yeah. There has to be. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no>. Mark. Oh. <laughs> Poor Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Please say she doesn't have no more in there. Don't oh no, there's more in there. No. She ah! <laughs> Her whole hand in there. Oh my God. Oh. She needs to stop. All right, I'm, I'm done. All right. Tap tell, tell me when it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, wow. how is that even possible? I know. Oh. So, I Carl, s- mm-hmm. when I said that the anus can stretch, I didn't not as much for you to, like, like prove something. my point right. like that. So. Oh, my God. Well, you're welcome, Mark. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude, that girl could, like, put a Buick up her ass. That's All right, so speaking of 
putting things up their asses. <laughs> Do we have a Ask an MFR? Yes. Yay. Yay, that was so sweet. <laughs> Not everyone can be as knowledgeable about life, love, and sex as Mahogany and Fur, which is why we created Ask <laughs> MFR. Ask MFR. You send in your questions and we give the best advice on the planet. Okay. Um, oh, those last weeks? These are right, like the yeah. last ones. Old and mappers, <coughs> but. Do we have the new one? We got, I, I got uh, to pull up the email here. We'll see. Hang on. Yeah, give me a second to pull up the emails because I, I was being lazy. Hang on. Give me a second here. You guys talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm actually pulling up our email right here. Um, I got I a couple. I love this, this music right now, though. I need this luck to calm my soul after just seeing what I just saw. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that was fucked up, man. No, it's not good. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I feel I feel dirty watching. Right. That. I'm I'm like, wow. Okay. Alright, you guys ready? Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Alright. <clears throat> this one's from Tom. Uh, he actually wrote in like two weeks ago, but we have, we've been off the air. So, uh, Tom, if you're listening, dude, sorry it took so long. Here you go. Tom goes, as lame and dumb as my title may be, his title is Need Help With Testing a Girl. I should probably say that. <laughs> as lame and dumb as my <laughs> title may be, I need some advice. My currently texting, I'm currently texting this girl that I met on OKC. Okay, Cuban? Okay. We've been on a date already, just one, and I've been texting her for a week now, pretty constantly. I told her I was a virgin on our first date, which was a week ago. Wait, how old are you, Tom? Okay, um, and last night she started asking me what I had done sexually. I told her, and she said something along the lines of, sorry, I had to ask. I'm kind of a slut. She kept mentioning that. I asked her why she kept saying that, and she said that she sleeps with anyone who is her type, and that they were all douchebags. Not knowing what to say to some something like that, I said, well, I think you're awesome, smiley face. I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bed. Text me tomorrow. To which she replied, yes, sir, smiley face. She hasn't texted me at all since then. I think I'm over this, but should I wait until she texts me, whether it be today or tomorrow? I was thinking of just texting her tomorrow morning and just saying good morning. Is she losing interest? By the way, I'm 22. She's 20. Not sure if that's important or not. Tom, again, sorry we're uh, addressing this like two weeks later. I yeah, hope you I mean, made a decision by that point. But, he's um, like waiting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They haven't answered it yet. Uh, yeah. like, they were motherfuckers. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why does she keep saying she's a slut? What is that about? I think she was trying to make him feel like he, she would bang him. Like, easy. Wow. She was, like, giving the vibe, like, you know, giving the vibe, like, I want to fuck vibe. I get a different vibe. What that. do you get from that? I think she was trying to scare him off. Really? I don't think. I don't really? Think, I don't think any girl who's actually interested in the guy goes, I'm a slut. Ha, ha, ha. La, la, la. I don't know. To Ruffle me. copter. <laughs> I'm about a slut. <laughs> I don't think any girl actually does that. To Raffle coaster. Likes. Now, here's the funny thing, though. I, I, I know girls who are like, ha, ha, I'm a slut. Ha, ha, laos. But, 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 they think it's cute for some reason. I'm a slut. Tamika? I know some, yeah. Tamika's a slut. All the way. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, baby, I like it. Uh, we're going to end the show now. Maybe I like <laughs> it raw. <laughs> In the bud. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mark? Um... I think she's like she found out he was a virgin, mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to deal with that. But she doesn't know how to say like, "Hey, I don't want to waste my time on a virgin." You're like you're 22 years old, Tom. Sorry, dude. I'm gonna hurt your feelings here. You're 22 years old, and oh, I loser. do not <laughs> want to like be the first one you sleep with. It's not gonna happen. Good luck with that. So I think she keeps saying like, 
I'm a slut, ha ha, to, to like scare you off. Because if I was a virgin and a girl's like, I'm a slut, which means I'm like, I've had mad men inside mad men? me. Mad men. Don Draper. <laughs> if I've had mad men. I've had the mad men inside of me. <laughs> like, me as a virgin, I'd be scared off. Now, that's the only reason I could think she would keep saying that. The other only logical thing I could think of, she she honestly thinks she's being cute by saying that. Mm. I, I'm with you on the cute thing. That's why I think that it was more like aimed at, like, I'm a slut. Let's right. do it. <laughs> but, like, in a cute way, like, you like sluts. Like, or maybe, like, you know, when she, he told her she was a vir- he was a virgin. Like she really like was like, well, I'm a slut. Like it was just like the comeback or something like that. But I feel virgin. like, but I feel like she doesn't have to say that. To, like, right. Well, girls are stupid. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> shouldn't have to what? say that. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, I feel on. like there's Look, a, there's a million ways to say that besides like, if she actually do <laughs> did want to bang him and like be his first, she, there's a million ways for her to say that besides like, well, I'm loose, so yeah. you <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> yeah, Tamika. Yeah, I think honestly. Just leave her alone. Go away. Stop texting her. And text me because my name's Tamika. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't text me. You me won't my, get none. Me and my husband will fuck you. No, it won't happen. But um, the slut Christmas. thing, I think, I honestly, I think she was joking with you just to see, you know, because you said I'm a virgin. She was saying, I'm a slut. Uh-huh. I'm a virgin. I'm a slut. But We're then I would think. How is that joking, though? Yeah. I, not, I, like, I know. No and no I <laughs> Right. <laughs> you're silly. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe she was doing slut. that. Slut. You said you're a slut. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> she was doing that just because he said he was a virgin. So maybe she doesn't believe him. So she was like, ha ha, I'm a slut. You a virgin. You I, know? I can see that. She yeah. has, just, so she doesn't actually believe he's a virgin. Right. I mean, because. So she's, she's going the he? opposite way. What, and going, well, I'm a slut. Yeah. So. Right. You're a virgin. I'm a slut. I'm a slutty slut. So <laughs> she basically was saying. Okay, you lying motherfucker. You say you a virgin. I'm a slut. So what about? <laughs> so you I can see that. Motherfucker. Yeah. I can actually see that. <laughs> no offense, Carl. I can see that over what you said. I don't know. I think she wants to fuck him. I think she's trying to scare him away. I think she lost interest when she found out he was a virgin. Sorry, Tom, dude. Can I throw that in there? Uh-uh. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think I agree, actually, now that I'm more thinking about it. Yeah. I think I agree with you. She's trying She's trying to be like, yeah, where well, I'm a hoe, so... Yeah, about that. I'm not gonna fuck right? you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not getting. None. I don't fucking virgin. I've had I've had Pepsi cans inside of me before, <laughs> <laughs> and ate basketballs. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> In my puss. Like, but uh, Tom, sorry, dude. You're out of luck. Hopefully, you moved on by now. Don't write back and send me your your. That's your girlfriend now because I don't feel bad don't. for you. But why do girls say that? Because I I have known girls who are like they they think it's funny or they think they're being cute. Like oh well, I'm kind of a hoe bag, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I fuck all guys. Here's really. the thing: nobody actually want it. Even like people like Carl Rico. <laughs> 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 the hell is this going? Where is this going? <laughs> Where are we going with this? Are we going somewhere <laughs> with this? Are we taking a ride somewhere? What's going on, Mark? What's gonna? What are you gonna say, bud? <laughs> okay. What are you gonna say, bro? <laughs> Carl? You guys like <laughs> <laughs> Tamika. I felt like I was laughing like the guy from uh, um from Back to the Future. Remember that laugh? The one guy was like, ah! <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Biff. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Are we done here? Okay. <coughs> what are we going to say? Now, Carl. Now, yes, Mark? Carl has the highest number out of the three mm-hmm. of us. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. But nobody yes. wants to be labeled a whore amongst no. their peers. I don't know. Dude, come on. Seriously. Come on. <laughs> All right. Seriously. No one wants to be labeled a whore amongst their peers. Exactly. Okay? So, even Carl, even though he's very open about his number, if he was like actually trying to get with a girl, he would be like, "Yeah, I slept with this X amount of girls." He wouldn't say that. I, like, know, oh, I, I know. I know. I slept with three girls. <laughs> I know for a fact. Carl would like downplay his number Down a lot it, if she yeah. actually asked him. Okay. Um. So why would a girl go? <laughs> I'm a slut. Ha <laughs> ha. Because Miley Cyrus said it's cool to be a slut. Yeah, maybe that. I mean, maybe that's what. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's like yeah. cool to be a slut nowadays. Fuck, I'm, I'm never having a daughter. 
I have no even desire to take callers today. I have no desires to like do any more than the two hours. I just want booze and food. You want to wrap the show up? You know, I think we're going to do it. Let's play a song, a cover song, and then wrap it up. Okay. So at least we can fill, fill it too. Mm-hmm. All right. This is a band called The Knox featuring Mandy Lee in the song's Midnight City. It's a cover of an M83 song. And I love this song. So guys, listen to the song. It's really good. All right, guys. We're going to get going. It was nice to be back. Nice to talk to all of you and uh, do the show. And now we're going to go, though, and we'll be back next week. It starts at 8 o'clock now instead of 7 o'clock. Just keep that in mind. So when you want to tune in and listen and love us and be sexy. But you can tune in anytime (laughs) through TuneIn Radio. The app on your iPhone or Android or Rep. Spreaker. Speak. Well, on TuneIn Radio, I want to let everybody know you just search WTMT Cleveland, That's and right. that will bring you to our station where the show replays all the time. And you will also be able to hear the show on Spreaker. You just go to Spreaker, you look up Mahogany and Fur on Spreaker or WTMT, WTMT. if it makes it mm-hmm. easier. And that'll bring you right to the show. You can listen to the show on iTunes. You can download the podcast on iTunes, check it out that way. Uh, you can listen to us a myriad of ways. You can also go on our Facebook, WTMT Cleveland. Uh, you'll find the links there. Like us on Facebook. Please do while you're there. Right. It would mean a lot to us. You can also go to um, the WTMT actual website. WTMTCleveland.com, and you can listen there as well. Yeah. So it'll just If you go on from a computer at home, it'll start playing start automatically. Playing, yep. Boom! You just hear us. Just automatically hear us. It's like we're in... Your room with you. Yeah. So, uh, guys, so uh, guys, there's a lot of ways to uh, listen to us. Tell your friends. We love it. And you can call the show next week. We love you for listening to us. Yes. Thank you. 216-816-6594. You can give us a call. You can uh, email us, WTMTCleveland at gmail.com. You can send us a message on our Facebook page. If you have a message, if you have a question for Ask an MFR, feel free to send it. We won't mention your name. Just sign it with whatever name you want us to say, and we'll say it if you want if your email comes from Billy Bob, that's your real name. <laughs> your first name is Billy. Your last name is Bob. But you sign it, Ted. We're going to read it, Ted. We're not well, going to, like, out you. Yeah, we'll never no, read your email address. Never do that ever. Um, you can tweet us at Mahogany and Fur or at WTMT Cleveland. You can, what else? How else can I con- Skype? You can Skype you can at, Skype you can Skype too. Mahogany Guys, and Fur. Guys, fucking like us. We're needy. Like <laughs> us. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, and I wanted to say that pretty next week we'll talk about it a little more. There is a new Mahogany and Fur Kickstarter coming out soon. And it's for something. It's for we are going to be making a movie. The movie 
You don't know about this? <laughs> no. You don't know about this? No. I the don't movie know is called this. Jury Buddies. <gasps> no, you didn't say that. I didn't. I'm all about Jury Buddies. Jury Buddies is our new movie that we're going to be writing. Direct. Well, we might not be directing it, but I want to direct it. Starring John C. Rowley. <laughs> we <laughs> talked about this. I don't remember John C. Rowley. John C. Rowley was a main character. He was? Channing Tatum. Yep. Uh, I suggest. Robert De Niro. Who else? We can even put uh, Al Pacino in there. He might be in there. You don't know anything about the movie, though. Morgan Freeman's the judge. There's a judge. It's a buddy. <laughs> it's a buddy comedy. <laughs> right. It's, it's, a judge. it's a buddy comedy. <laughs> and we're going to be making a Kickstarter for this. So we're going to want you guys to donate. Even if you donate a dollar to this, we're going to try and raise a ton of money so we can get this movie made. Now, it might not include the famous people. If we make this certain amount of money, we might do the movie with just... Local actors or people that are cheap. <laughs> if we make a lot of money, we can get the movie made by a Hollywood executive. This movie will get made. Or at least the script picked up, right? Yes. Like so it. worst comes to worst, we'll get the script picked up. Oh, fuck. we got to write a script. We are doing going to start doing that. That is part of the meetings that we're going to be having at a certain place every month. Is it Jury Buddies every or Jury Bros? Jury Buddies. I like Jury Buddies better. Jury Bros. <laughs> jury Bros is funny, but <laughs> Jury Buddies is funnier. <laughs> B-R-O-S. Period. <laughs> jury buddies. I like that. <laughs> don't you like jury buddies? I like jury bros. You don't even know the premise of the movie. <laughs> but still, I like that. That's so I'm it's, jury it's, it's, it's so it's, silly. The, star, like the star of the movie is Vince buddies. Vaughn, actually. <laughs> Vince Vaughn. Uh-huh. And who is the other guy? Owen Wilson. Vince Vaughn will be the uh, defense lawyer. No, Vince Vaughn is like in the jury. I, no, because I Owen changed Wilson? my mind, though. Vince Vaughn's a smooth talker. He needs to be a lawyer. Okay, he needs to be the defense lawyer because he goes, he goes, he does his Vince Vaughn. They go, Your Honor, I'm Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Here's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Swingers. <laughs> I'm a tall, slick Italian guy. Here, here's my All right. thing. All right, we'll talk about this. <laughs> but you cannot steal our idea. I have already copyrighted this idea. So you can't fucking steal it. And Jury Buddies will be coming to a theater near you in 2017. I guarantee it. And this movie's going to make a ton of money. <laughs> and it's, it's like do you realize, you know how Broken Lizard is a comedy troupe and they do like uh, super troopers? And it always says like Broken Lizard presents. Right. Mahogany and Furs are expanding Bro, our horizons. This is going to be Mahogany and Fur presents. Jury Bros. Jury Bros. I'll change my mind. I like bros. Oh, okay. <laughs> but all, we're going to make <laughs> movies and that's going to be another thing that we do. We are mm -hmm. going to be bigger media giants, dare I say it than Howard Stern, the king of all media. We are going to be like the parliament of all media. Howard Stern's the king of all media? You've never heard him referred to as that. No. Look that up. I don't actually listen to Howard Just Howard type Stern. in the king of all media and you'll it'll be Howard Stern. We are going to be the parliament of all media or the congress of all media <laughs> or the three people that just made a shitty movie. I'm going to touch a boot. In a movie? No. <laughs> You're gonna touch her boob? I do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Is it heavy? <laughs> Did you see his face? <laughs> Did you see? Dude, it like, it's only it the creep like, face. He's like, like <laughs> Is it heavy? It's only the creep face. All right, guys, we will be back next week. We're gonna tell you about jury buddy bros, whatever it's called. We're gonna bros. talk about everything else that's going on. We might be back for three hours. We might be back for two. We are gonna talk about something. Listen to us, love us, like us on Facebook. Eat my asshole. Tell your friends. Listen to <laughs> Mahogany and Fur Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on WPMGCleveland.com. Look on Fox 5 Sky Guardian, and then check that seven day to make your weekend like plans. It's a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. Uh, I guess that's me. Yeah. Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do All right. Fucking thing sucks. I think Kenny Crumpton, he can, he can play the air guitar, yeah, can't you? He can play the skin flute, but I don't know about the air guitar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't even have any words for you right now. All right, fuck it. Do it live.